Greetings. Well met. <laughs> oh god, hiccups. Light be with you, King's Honor friend. What can I do for you? Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another stream for you. How's it going, everybody? We're back within the wonderful world of Azeroth. What a glorious day it is, or night, I guess, here in Darkshore. Uh, nice to see everybody again. Um, how's it going to everyone? How's everybody's day going? Um, plan. I think it's been a couple days since we streamed, actually. I've been doing a little bit of that video editing over in Sony Vegas, working on the next video for you guys, but I decided that, eh, you know what? Actually, that's what I was just doing before uh, starting a stream here, but I felt like, eh, you know what? I feel like uh, stopping by Twitch and chatting with the gang, so here I am, playing a little bit of World of Warcraft, taking a little bit of the break from editing with video game. Um, what I figured that I wanted to do would be, so, hang on, I should have mail in my mailbox. Um, the past few streams we've been fishing up a storm, trying to get some gold to kind of work on our character here. Uh, our, we don't even have mount training yet because we've been a little bit on the broke side, but we, there's, as you'll see, we fixed that. I uh, went ahead and sold a bunch of this winter squid that we've been fishing out. Boom, boom. That's my alt, by the way. That's not a. That's not a uh, another person. That was my druid. So, eighty quick gold right there. Boom, just like that. So I figured I want to head on over to Ironforge, get my mount training, and after that, I think I would also like to maybe work on my professions because I know there's some craftables in Nomergon that we could get. And uh, aside from that, we might even have a Nomergon tonight. I have signed up for a Nomer. I'm not sure if I'll get in because I signed up rather late. So um, we'll see what happens here. I'm not going to promise a Nomer, but maybe we could get a Nomer gun in tonight. And then after that, I figured um, I wanted to uh, continue Sekiro. Hang on, I, I didn't say what's up to you guys. What is up to uh, Walterian? What's up? Uh, that Lazel. Papa Fox, how's it going? I want to say what's up to uh, Parsh as well. Necros as well. What's up, Necros? Thank you for the prime, my main man. Swagmeister, Maestro Kobe, Holding McGroin, DJ Zephy, Parsh as well. I already got you, Parsh. There's another one for you. Gasfoot Mike, Hamsfree, nice to see you in here. Tim Allen, as usual. Shadow Poet, Kevin Geekzilla, of course. Woolrath, how's it going? Everybody, how's it going, everybody? Hand of Doom, how are you? Um, let me try to catch up in the chat. Uh, that Lazi asks, will you be playing Cataclysm when it's out? Uh, I don't plan on it, Lazi. I actually got into the beta, and I have uh, I have not delved into it. I know that some people are streaming the beta. I don't. I'm not really too much of a fan of Cata, so I figure, eh, I would probably just complain about it the whole time. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Necros. Appreciate that, man. Thank you for the sub there. So, uh, first, hang on, actually, one thing I want to do here is clear my bags. As you can see, we're full of everything. Oh, we got this, too. I don't know if you guys were here, um, in, uh, the last stream, but we actually got a golden pearl from our fishing adventures from a clam. So, I think I'm gonna try to sell that now, maybe. I don't know. Should I hold on to this for next phase, do you think? What's up, Fraggy? How's it going? Uh, Lord Extraordinary as well. Nice to see you here. Guys... We gotta talk about the stream a little bit as I scan the auction house here. Let me turn this down just a smidge because I think it's a little bit too loud. Variety is the name of the game, will be the subject of our discussion today. So, World of Warcraft has always been and always will be my main game. Wow, this guy's really big. Oh my god, he had his Wheaties. His, what is, hang on, what does this guy have? Why is he so large? Oh, World Shrinker. Ah, he has the World Shrinker equipped. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness gracious. That is one large man. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, Variety. So, World of Warcraft always has been and probably it will always be my main game. 
It's a game that I feel like playing like literally every day. Well, most days, not every single day. But most days I feel like playing. Oh, it's only 11 gold. I thought this was going to be like 50 gold. Maybe I hold on to it for next phase then. Um, the squid, however, we're going to put up. And this one too. I'll do more fishing. We're going to do more fishing streams as well. Sorry, I keep distracting myself. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to yeah, throw everything on the auction house here. Um, and then won't, I'll get to my discussion. Sorry, I distract myself so easily with this crap. I gotta keep my 53 pound grouper, baby. This I think I can sell. This I usually... Okay, whatever, we'll throw it on there. No one's gonna buy that crap, but... I just want it out of my bags right now, and this is the most convenient way of doing that. Uh, fire fin snappy snap. Okay. Uh, variety streams. Let me chrono boon this. So, we have some games coming out that I really would like to stream. However, I have to do some prerequisite streaming first. Um, number one, Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out in like, what, 10 days? Or so? Pretty close. People are already messing around with the character creation I saw. Uh, this is a game that has been suggested to me time and time again. People said for, you know, my love for action, adventure, fantasy type games. Oh, wow, people are actually dueling outside of Ironforge. Oh, my God, that's amazing. This is really cool. I'm going to have to do this sometime. Um, but I've never played it. I never played Dragon Dogma, Dragon's Dogma 1, and I've been really, really interested in 2. However, I feel like before I earn the right to play 2, I should probably play and beat the first Dragon's Dogma. Uh, so I want to do that on stream, preferably before the second one comes out. And before I play Dragon's Dogma 1, I don't want to have a bunch of playthroughs going on at once. I figured I should beat uh, Sekiro, is my current other variety game that we started a, a few weeks ago, but I haven't returned to in a while. We just uh, defeated Genichiro. For those of you who were around for that stream, so I think I might do a couple of power sessions of Seshiro along with the World of Warcraft goodness. Starting today, we're gonna start off with WoW, like I said. I got some uh, stuff to take care of here, but after that, I think I want to do Sekiro. My goal is to beat Sekiro soon, and then play through and beat Dragon's Dogma One. Which I, how long, uh, how long of a game is Dragon's Dogma One? Um. These are going to be some pretty big streams. And also, aside from that, <clears throat> I want to get this video out too. I'm working on my uh, Diablo 3 video, which is about halfway, 60-ish percent edited at this point. That one's going swimmingly. I've been getting a lot of uh, good editing in. It's, it's looking pretty good so far. I'm pretty proud of it already, so I think you guys will like it. What server is this? Yeah, it's Crusader Strike. Crusader Strike server. What mount are you getting? Uh, just a ram, I guess. What what ram should we get? Should we get the gray one, the brown one, or the white one? I, th I like the brown one because it doesn't show dirt. You know what I mean? And the gray one. The white one shows dirt. Now, hang on. I, I want to go for the white, actually, because I never get the white because of that. Great to meet you. So let's train, right? Where where's the trainer? You? Yes. Got to do the training, then the mount, of course. A yoink. So this is forty gold total, right? They halved it. I'll do the height. They halved this for sod season of discovery. That's why I was waiting uh, for quite a while to get it, and I just didn't have any gold, obviously. A Dragon Dogma 1 is 33 to 50 hours to complete. Oh my god. That's a long one. Do you guys think we can do it? Uh, actually, hang on. When does Dragon's Dogma 2 release? It has to be like 10 days or something, right? Oh god, I don't know if I can do that in time. Maybe we can just do Dragon's Dogma 1 after number 2. We can just jump straight into two and then do one after. 
I feel like that's not really the way to do it. I kind of want to play through the first one, Foist, but... 11 days till it releases? Yeah, I just, I, sim I think I simply won't make it in time. It's the 22nd. How about, would you guys, uh, would you guys be outraged if I did Dragon's Dogma 2 before 1? Would you get the pitchforks? Will I be cancelled on social media? Monotone Man plays second game before first one. I think we can we can just get we'll get away with it, I think. I would really like to do the first one, but I just don't think I'd have enough time to finish it in time. And if I did have enough time, I'd be like rushing through it the whole time and I wouldn't be able to enjoy it as much. So No, we'll just jump to the first, the second one. I'll be a complete Dragon's Dogma noob. So it'll be kind of like a blind run. Maybe that itself will be kind of unique. Yeah, we'll just do that. But yeah, first we'll be... Se I can definitely do Sekiro within 11 days. I'm a beast at that game. I'm, I'm a Sekiro ace, baby. I could beat Sekiro tonight if I wanted to. Well, except maybe for the final boss, actually. The final boss kind of uh, hands me my ass on a silver platter. So, yeah. Really cool here, by the way, seeing duelers in Ironforge. Like I said, this is one of the good, one of the my favorite reasons why Ironforge is um, the main hub here for this phase. This is very vanilla-like. This is what happened in Vanilla WoW, 04 to 07. Everybody hung out in Ironforge, and there's people constantly dueling outside the gates. So it's pretty cool. Hey, what's up, CKA? Yes, what spec is now best for Hunter and is Melee Hunter <clears throat> again bad because of the nerf? I'm not really sure. Honestly, I haven't really. Um, well, number one, I've always been a ranged Hunter. I didn't delve into the Melee Hunter meta yet. And uh, two, I haven't. I wasn't even aware that there was a nerf. I've just been playing marksmanship, so. There you go, stay in the deck. Thank you. Or, or have a good stream and Dragon Stock was really fun. The uh, companion system is pretty neat. Alright, Taman, sounds good, man. Thanks for uh, stopping by today. Mm. And you always knew that if you went outside Iron Forge, says Parsh, uh, and, and nobody's dueling, that you really should be asleep right now. <laughs> or you get a friend, right? You get a couple of friends and you start the fight club. Somebody has to start the fight club, right? Oh, this is a beautiful thing right now. Beautiful is what I have to say to this. I'm just kind of taking it in, right? Taking it in. Giggity. Uh, so I'm trying to think here. Oh, let me send... I need to free up some bag space first off. Whoa, is Zesty Clam Meat really selling for a gold a stack? No way. No effing way. No, yeah, they're individually for a gold. Yeah, somebody's trying to crash it. That's not going to sell. Okay, we'll do that. So I'm just, in case we do get into a No Mergon. We got Agility Elixirs. We got Nature Prot Potions. We got Faps. Um, I think we should be good to go with that then. Uh, ammo, actually, right? Yes, we need more ammo. Let's fill up on ammo. Oh wait, Dark Moon Fair is in town. Ooh, I should get that buff too. Delete the mount. <laughs> I can actually probably bank the Night Saber, right? What can I do for you? The I well, I could actually delete the Night Saber mount if I wanted to, because we have this one now. But I don't know. It's kind of like a cool keepsake. I'm kind of a pack rat in this game, so I'll just bank this for now. Mm -hmm. My quest items are really setting me back here. Talk to me. That's what's really clogging my bags. Here, delete the rough stone. It sells for nothing anyway. And I'm gonna keep my uh, my grouper in the bank as well, and just kind of admire it. Hey, what's up, Mario Deadly? How's it going, man? Get the Nomer Mount on this run? Yeah, hell yeah, brother. I'm not sure if I'll be in this run, just so you guys know. 
It's not guaranteed. I signed up very late, so I, I might, I might have, uh, I might have signed up too late. Um, so how? Hang on. Let me. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a profession guide. I'm gonna level up engineering first, I suppose. So we are 150, right? Yes. So... 150 to 225 is what we're looking for. We're gonna need... Oh gosh. 30, hang on, let me see what I have in my bank first. Is this Saad? No, this is Patrick. Yeah, this is Season of Discovery. Here there. This is Season of Discovery. I'm not sure what I actually need here. So I need heavy stone. This is going to be expensive, which is why I held off on this until I had a little bit of gold. But engineer leveling in general is rather expensive in this game. Oh, I can turn some quests in too. That'll help. Okay, these are the expensive ones because auctioneer is a mystery to me, and I don't. Here we go. Let's buy two stacks of these. I'm gonna need branch bears. Oh, please don't be expensive. Okay, here we go. These are not as bad, but they're still kind of bad. Oh no. Don't buy all of them, please. Mm, 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 mm. We need wool cloth. Here we go. These aren't bad. Good. Okay. We need whirring bronze gizmos. Do I have any of those? I thought I had a, like a poop ton. Oh, you know what? I bet you they're on other characters. Bees are ascending and leaving the brood. Are they absconding and leaving the brood? Are they swarming? They could be swarming. There could be another hive in the in the immediate area. Maybe you lost the queen. Maybe the queen moved. I believe that's what could happen. Uh, hang on, I need to go, I need to search my alts and stuff. I think I, I maybe have, like, wearing bronze gizmos on, like, a random-ass character here. I'm gonna check my druid first. My druid's, like, my go-to for bank. Expired auctions, beautiful. Oh, I love it. Okay, here we go, actually. Eh, eh. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. There's bronze tubes. Maybe they're in my bank. This is the problem with having all these alts is you just kind of... Oh, yeah, here we go. Ah, crap. I gotta wait like an hour to send this to my character. Whoa. How did I grab all of them at once? That's weird. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna send these to my hunter and then maybe... I guess maybe I'll do engineering later. Or whenever I need these. I can do a little bit right now. Uh, I'll probably don't need copper. Alright, bag. God, I love that music. It's a shame to log off to stop it. But then we can start it again by logging back in. So it's all good. Wait, what? Oh, I have some in my mail. Hey. 
Life is pretty cool sometimes. I just had, I just randomly had them in my mail from another character. That's amazing. Beautiful gameplay. Okay. Let's just go with what we have right now. Let me train engineering first, obviously, before I make a big old blunder. Who here is gonna play Dragon's Dogma? What are you guys thinking? You guys gonna check it out? It's uh, It seems to be the new hotness. Everybody's really excited for it. All my friends are talking about it, so it's, it's like the next big game. I look at I looked at the gameplay of um, Dragon's Dogma one a few times, and I like it. It kind of uh, it kind of has like some MMO elements to it, more kind of like RPG, old school adventure sort of style, which I definitely appreciate. Kind of like a little bit of Monster Hunter in it too. I'd like to say the big the big fights and stuff. That your PC can run into the CDZ. Well, luckily for me, I recently upgraded, so I should be good to go on that front. Ooh, do I... I feel bad vendoring the BFD set, honestly. I don't wanna. <laughs> hey, little bit of thank you, man, for the prime. I'm just gonna vendor that one. Okay, so we gotta train artisan, right? Oh no! Oh no, here he is. Okay. You can do. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I, do you really have to do this in Stormwind? I thought it was Ironforge. Okay, so we need to do heavy blasting powder, right? Oh, we're at 150. Bronze frameworks is what we need to do. Oh, we need medium leather. We need to make 15 of these bad boys. Visit the auction house real quick. Uh, JJ Graham asks, any chance you'd try to get the Warsong Bracers at Exalted? Um, I Yeah, eventually, for sure. Right now we're about a third of the way, a little over a third of the way through Revered, so we just got to get back into the gulch and do like a hundred games or so. Depending if we win or lose. Oh, poop. Yeah, definitely. I started my AB as well. This is two games. Two losses. For 110 rep. Yeah, AB takes a long time. Uh, Stony says, I'm not too hot for DD. DD2, rather. I'll buy it on discount, probably. I'm waiting on Sky Oblivion. Hope 2025 is a year. Nice. For me, I, I'm just kind of in the mood for a little bit something different. I want to do, I've always said that I, I kind of always wanted to do a little bit more um, from software stuff. So I'm looking forward to the Sekiro goodness and also uh, Elden Ring goodness too. But I can definitely see why it's not everybody's cup of tea. Okay, seriously, how do I get Auctioneer to behave? There's, there's stuff cheaper than this, though. Yeah, see? There's stuff at, like, 2-3%. Here, well, first, let's do this. I don't know how, how to get Auctioneer to sort properly. I give up. 338 uh, Tank asks, Is Wall worth picking up, or is it more of the same? Sod is classic vanilla with a little bit lemon twist, I would like to say. With sprinkles on top. It's vanilla wow with lots of class balance changes. Runes um, have been added to the game, which gives each class new abilities. So the meta has shaken up. And they have like some old dungeons reconfigured into raids. They got some new ish PvP zones. Um, it's a little bit of everything. But the core is vanilla. I would say if uh, you're really on the fence of it, I do have a Season of Discovery review out there. If you're really curious. And I kind of go over the gist of things. But I like it personally. And when people ask me if it's fun, I usually say, yeah, it's pretty fun. 
Oh wait, do we need an anvil for this? No, we don't. So we'll need our uh, engineer tools though. In a moment. Oh shoot, he got an ad. Three, 338 tank just got an ad when he asked that question. I'm sorry. Poop. Have you played Neo 1 and 2? Asks Mr. Garg. I have not. They've been recommended to me. People say because I love Sekiro, chances are I would enjoy Neo 1 and 2. And I got it on the list, but no, I have not yet played them. Will you do a re review at the end of the season? Um. When Season of Discovery concludes, yeah, I would like to do maybe some sort of recap on what it was, what worked, what didn't work. I think that'd be a good idea. Malware asks, have you played the original Dark Souls? Yep, I've beaten it a few times, maybe like four or five times at this point. I, uh, I love uh, uh, from software games in general, Dark Souls is a favorite of mine, although saying that... I actually have not beaten Dark Souls 3 yet, so that's also on the docket. I got through, I think, the majority of the game, but I haven't actually beaten it. Alright, sheep time. Hi, how are you? I actually have an uh, archived playthrough of Dark Souls on my alternate channel, Bad Season Show, you. if you're really curious. Can I help you? Okay, so it wants me to make explosive sheep now. I'm feeling a bit more stuffed up than usual today. Do I need heavy blasting powder? Okay. How many of those? 30 of those. Cool. And I'm going to grab my stuff from the bank here, too. Hey, what's up, Othi? How's it going? Getting your fishing grind on? No, not this stream. We're taking a little bit of a break from that and just doing some profession stuff. Uh, Milano asks, are all of the SOD PvP world events possible on PvE realms? Yep, you can do them on PvE realms. Ooh, I think maybe, uh, oh, did we get in that Gnome Rigan, baby? Lucky we did, even though we signed up late, we got in. Nice, cool. Alright, we're gonna do we're gonna do no more again, you guys. Okay, um What was I doing? Oh, I was getting my engineer tool. Sweet, we did get in. Awesome. Anytime, Milano. Don't mention it, man. Hey Crusher. Thank you so much for the prime, man. For four months now. Appreciate it. I want to do, uh, so I want to do more editing tonight before I go to bed for sure, but, um, I think I'll be streaming tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow, I got some stuff going on, so I think because of that, I'd like to do a little bit, these next couple of streams, I would like to be maybe a little bit longer, we'll see, no promises, but... Uh, like I said, I've been trying to do like four hour streams, trying to balance streaming with editing here. Maybe I'll do like five, six hour streams here to kind of make up for an absence that I'll have a couple days from now. Volvic as well. Wow. Volvic TV. Thank you for the prime. Stony says that Dark Souls 1 is still the best level design I saw. Yeah. Agreed. The game is pretty. Um, pretty revolutionary as far as level design is concerned as far you know action adventure games it's it's iconic it absolutely is my favorite part of dark souls one is just that whole undead bird intro and uh, finding how all the different paths like lead to each other and stuff and i was uh i know a lot of people don't like blight town i actually liked blight town quite a bit the secret to Blight Town, I always say, to make it way less frustrating, each torch you see signifies a ladder. Boom. Blight Town becomes actually a little bit easy to navigate as soon as you realize that. Each torch is a ladder in Blight Town. That's all you need to know. Okay. All right, let's head on over to No Maragon. No Warlocks, so we gotta run. God, I love World of Warcraft. 
I think I'm kind of a fan of this game. What do you guys think? Every time I play it, even in something different like Sod, it just kind of... It takes me back. It takes you back to the past to play some shitty games that suck ass. Oh, this doesn't suck. Wait, there's no... Uh, oh, I wonder if we got layered to a non-dueling layer. We got, we got layered to the, the casual Care Bear layer. Hey, Waffle Pants, thank you, man. For the Prime for five months now. Hell yeah, brother. Chef Nick cooks as well. Thank you for the tier one for seven months. Yeah, it's pretty okay. It's all right. I, I, it's maybe like a seven of ten. <laughs> it, I only made 600 videos about it. If I really liked it, I'd be at a thousand videos right now, okay? Anarchy as well. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. I should have upgraded the game and servers to make it feel new. For Sod, you mean, uh, Tank? Manage the game in Unreal 5. Funny you mentioned that, Tank. You can actually search this on YouTube. Um, people have, like, rec recreated little areas of the game in the Unreal Engine. I think somebody did Elwyn Forest. I think somebody did Westfall. Oh, somebody did Stormwind. Somebody did Stormwind in Minecraft, actually, which was pretty interesting. Yeah, the community, at least the community has done a little bit of what you're saying. I feel like, didn't uh, Blizzard actually hire... Uh, there's a, a fan who made, like, fan-made machinima cinematics on YouTube, and I think Blizzard actually, like, hired him, or, like, had him do a trailer for him or something. Let's get on over to Nomuragan. Let's parse. Parse time, baby. Hurricane. Yep, there you go. That's him. You guys got it. Yeah, it was Hurricane. Whoa, Grengen. Grengen with the five gifted tier one subs. Hell <laughs> yeah, brother. Oh shit, I just almost knocked all my dishes over. Grengen, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Guys, please clap for Gringen. Please clap. Please clap. Thank you, man. <laughs> when did the, so the meeting stone change where the meeting stone gets out. That was like BC, right? Or was that a wrath change? I feel like I should know this, but I don't. Admittedly. Ooh, actually, something we can do here. We, while people are getting here, we can do this. We need to get the, the first part of no gain. We gotta collect the radioactive fallout from one of the green trogs out here. And we got like 12 gold just from turning in those quests. It's pretty wild. Oh, is it Wrath? Wrath says Renek. It changed twice though, says uh, Walterian. The meeting stone to portal was in Wrath. Oh, okay. Why do I think that was BC? I remember the initial meeting, when the meeting stones were first in the game, they were sort of like um, a form of group finder. Right, does this have... Okay, it does not have a... Okay, I'll just turn that in after the run then. I know we get another quest follow-up that's inside, but... This certainly isn't my last Gnomer gun, so I'm not really in a huge rush for that. So we'll just do... We'll turn that in after raid if we can remember. Yeah, it had... um, The original meeting stone was like a looking for group thing. But the issue was, uh, it was kind of s designed in a silly way. Um, you had to be at it to use it. And if you used it, it would like put your name in a little list and to like check it to see if anybody else new joined the meeting stone, you had to be at it. So 
It was a bit redundant because if everybody's already at the dungeon anyway, they're just going to group up, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was pretty bad. That was a vanilla change, I remember it. Hardly anybody ever used it. Hey, Mario. Yeah, no problem. And yeah, like I said, we'll also do, um... We will also do... Some stream inch here. And in fact, maybe after the snowmer we'll do Sekiro, like I said. Okay. I need to switch some runes. We'll do that yet. And I guess we'll just stick with kill command. Expose weakness, come here. Yeah, this, this looks good. Stick with this. My unscoped ranged weapon. Griefing. Oh, Geo's in this run. What the hell? It's Geo. I did not even realize until now. Alright, I'm gonna hop on Discord. different discord for this maybe Hey, what's up, Nexor? Uh, what's the add-on called that shows you which class they're playing? You mean this one right here? This one over on the left is called Grid 2. My favorite interface add-on. This is a must-have for me, especially when I'm healing. For all, well, I mean, for DPS, it's just kind of like... This is like, okay, are we wiping? But for healer, it's really, really nice. Very highly customizable. Get on Discord in a moment here. Let's get in the cuddle puddle. Chris the Lost Man. Thank you, dude. They give her the prime. So, next video on the channel. Oh, some actually, I should address this. Somebody asked earlier, why no YouTube streams? Uh, I'm not sure if this person is still here, but I'll answer the question anyway. So I was multi-streaming to both Twitch and YouTube for a little while. However, um, uh, it's not for a couple of reasons. One of the big ones was it was just too much for me to keep up with two chats. And I felt like I wasn't being as interactive as I could. I'm already kind of bad with that, so I figured best keep with one chat for now. And also, I, I just would like to kind of segregate the content. I want to keep YouTube as videos... Twitch is streaming and kind of keep that separation. Tarvis as well. Well, thank you so much, my main man, for the prime. Hey, what's up, Nick? Going pretty good. How about you, dude? Just getting our Nomer on. See if we can get some loots. Let's see if we can get some loots. Do you guys want to do a little bit of Sekiro tonight? Maybe a little bit. Like I said, I also wanted to get some editing in, though. Uh, next video, before I interrupted myself, is a Diablo 3 sort of documentary. It's the start of a new series called Dumpster Fire, which goes over all of the dumpster fires in social media, whether they be games or otherwise. Uh, episode 1, because of my, my background with Blizzard, is Diablo 3. We're going to go over pre-development of Diablo 3, release, post-development. The Diablo 3 release was uh, not the smoothest release in the world. 
for those who were present for that. Shoutouts to Error37 and the um, fuck that loser comment. It's quite it's quite a I'm I'm really getting into the nitty gritty part of the dumpster fire and editing. It's just kind of wild looking back at how like the insanity that was the Diablo three launch. Like my god, it was spicy. It was absolutely spicy, but entertaining nonetheless. I remember uh, launch day Diablo three. I was I was one of the people there. I think uh, I think I was still in school. Yeah, I was. I was in school at the time, and I should have been studying for like a test, but instead I was just kind of trying to log in over and over into Diablo three. Sardakar. Thank you for watching my videos, man. I appreciate it. It's my pleasure. No, oh, thank you. Uh, Boris Biat as well. Oh, Boris Bliat. It's going pretty good. How about you? Favorite thing about Sod so far? Asks Mr. Bulkzilla. Hard to choose, but I would say that it is the fact that, um, the phases have level caps, so it creates like these unique forms of end game. <gasps> Excuse me. Like there's new end game farming spots. There's new end game metas that we've never explored before. Um, and uh, each time they increase the level cap, it's sort of like a mini fresh vanilla, where you know people come back after a you know an absence after finishing their characters in the previous phase. They come back and. The game seems, sees a pretty big population surge. I'd say the fact that they've limited the levels phase by phase. Renek EU, thank you for the Prime, man. Remember when I first reached Hell difficulty and got absolutely smoked? I was, uh, he's talking about Diablo 3 here. I was, act I lucked out. I made, I just happened to make the best class for vanilla Diablo 3, which was the Demon Hunter. All of the elite mobs were super, super, super tough. Um, and you really had to kite them. And Demon Hunter was like the best kiting class for vanilla Diablo 3. So I I, uh, I was actually one of the, f the first groups of people to get into Inferno mode. And I would farm Act 3 Inferno. Specifically the barracks level over and over and over again. So I lucked out. Oh, we're starting. Yeah, let me get on Discord here. All right. Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna unboon. Hey, Gremlin Gaming. Thank you for converting that Prime sub, dude. Converting a Prime sub to Tier 1. I would like to announce I'm taking a uh, extended break from streaming. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, Lion. We got Hawk on. Alright, we're ready. Oh, we got a feeder pit, actually. As a monk, you got your poop pushed in. Yeah, uh, melee classes especially kind of had it rough. I remember they did a patch where they just straight up reduced the damage that melee classes took by like 30%. That's how bad the balance was. And even then, there's I feel like they're still harder than ranged. Let's see if I can remember how to play this game. Finally hit 40. Yep, we did. World first 40 hunter. You're looking at him right here. What's up, Lil Perrin? So, did Melee Hunter get nerfed? Somebody said, like, Melee Hunter got nerfed recently. Is that a... I know they got nerfed once. Is there a new nerf out?
Thank you, Othi. What's the Clothus here? Is, tell me he's melee. Oh, it looks like melee spec baby. Nice. I, I swear to God, I'm the only ranged hunter left. <laughs> Everybody's melee. It got another nerf, but it's still good. Oh, I see. But maybe, uh, maybe that's how marksmanship will be the best spec. They'll just nerf the other specs over and over and over again. Nice, next sorry you got that big gun today. Grats, dude. Hopefully, uh, hopefully your luck will pass on to me. Thank you, Gremlin. That's very sweet. Thank you, man. Might on my pet. G okay, you got me. Good job. Gotta mite the pets, you guys. How's Spell of Power Hunter doing? Some people are trying that. Should I roll in all the Spellcaster gear, you guys? I feel like that's part of the uh, Hunter graduation. We gotta get that blaster for some fat aim shots next time we AB. Ooh. Spill Power Hunter was a thing during TBC beta. Yeah, I've, I think I've heard that before. I gotta buff my arcane shots, you know? And uh, I guess Chimera Shot. Chimera Shot does nature damage, right? Hell yeah, brother. Okay, so let me uh, Agility Elixir, right? And also Nature Prot too, right? There we go. Hey, what's up, Dan Roshi? Yep, this is Sad. No, this is Patrick. I don't have a growl on, right? Okay, good. At least Grubbus actually drops loot in the remake. This was always such a big waste of time, I feel. In original Nomer. I hated it when people wanted to do Grubbus. It's like, oh, come on, he dr it takes like 20 minutes and he drops a freaking green. Have they confirmed what the next dungeon will be for the next phase? The, or the next level upgrade is what I meant to say. Sunken Temple, says Maris. I would actually love that. I'm one of the... I feel like I'm one of the... Uh... We should bring him into the Fart Cloud, right? Maybe we'll do the next one. Um, I feel like I'm in the minority when I say I actually like Sunken Temple. I think we bring these ones into the poop cloud. That way out. Yeah, I ran that I ran that place uh many, many, many many, many times back in the day. Whoops. Alright, grab this time.
Yeah, Sunken Temple always kind of felt like the most Indiana Jones-like. Even though I'm, I'm not a fan of the Indiana Jones series, I'll say that. That usually outrages people when I unveil that information. But it did feel very adventurous. That and Blackrock Depths felt equally as adventurous. This guy always drops plate. How do we do on damage? Oh god. Well, not last, I suppose. Oh, that's overall data. Okay, here we go. I'm looking a little bit better in the current fight there. Fifth. 340 DPS. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it for marksmanship. First Nomer. Uh, this is my third Nomer. Died Pepsi. This thing has a lot of life. More than I expected. Whoa! Come here, kitty cat. Let's just drag him to the group. Passive follow. Yeah, I feel like the guy always drops plate. Turn growl off. Okay, there we go. Classic Knight, what's up, dude? Thank you for the prime. How do you like the Raiden? I think I like it more than BFD. I think the fights are more interesting than BFD. BFD had a lot of uh, tank and spake, and um, there's a little bit more to Nomerg on it. There's like more coordination needed, especially the final boss. Akuma and BFD was pretty disappointing, I feel, but uh, King Mechatork and Nomergan is is fairly hectic and chaotic, which I like. Slow everything. Hey, what's up, Goonplot? He says that I hate to say it, but Burning Crusade marksmanship has always been my favorite. But you can literally double that DPS as BM with melee runes. Yeah, marksmanship is, uh, we got a little bit of a buff. Um, a couple week or like a week ago or so. They buffed up our, uh, Chimera shot a little bit, but we're still a little bit far behind. Wait, why can't I, uh... Does it have to be? Oh, I see. It has to be a specific one. Okay. What do we got? A bunch of bullcrap. So I did the punch card quest already. TBC Hunter? Wasn't the TBC Hunter the uh, one button macro with steady shot? <laughs> hey, Slim Spadey. What's up, man?
watch Zarya's reaction to a couple of old videos, like the the worst looking or unobtainable items in WoW. Your voice changed so much. Oh yeah, I know. I sounded like I think I hit puberty or something. I think I had like a higher pitch generally. Yeah, I sound like a I sound like so young in those older videos. Oh, it's kind of hard for me to like listen to my old my own voice sometimes in the older ones. It's like, hey guys, what's up? Mad season here, back with another video for you. Just stone form. This guy should have rolled dwarves. Which version is this? This is sad. Season of Discovery. Alright, let's see if we can do better than uh we got fifth last time or something. This time. Insane damage. Beautiful gameplay. Oh, we gotta kill these things, right? Yeah. Kill the goose. Try not to pull that too. We will try our very best. Come on, spawn your stupid ads. First damage, baby. What dropped? Strength Agi Cloak. Acidic Watchers. Oh, there's our spell power build. Hey, Bajira, thank you for the raid. What's up, guys? Were you guys doing a little bit of that fury PvP? Thank you, Bajira. What's up, guys? Here, let me give a shout out. Guys, you should all watch Bajira. Legend, legendary. Streamer, YouTuber, content creator. Many, many days I remember watching that Fury PvP. <laughs> Thank you, man. We're just doing a little bit of Nomer, guys. Uh, so, and. Uh, on a serious note, we actually got fifth on that one, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Hell yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. I, uh... I actually race changed... Um... In a, for a, a, a little while there in Cataclysm, 
I actually race changed my warrior to male Draenei solely because of uh, one of Bajira's videos. <laughs> male Draenei are abyss. I love them. I don't know, it's just something about their running animation just gets me. They're awesome. Got enough ammo? I don't know. Depends on how accurate I am, I suppose. Uh-oh. Kill. That'd be a great alarm clock. Just play that sound effect. The warning, warning. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Othi with the gifted sub. Thank you, Othi. They're dabbing as well. Thank you, man. Seven months. Pretty soon I'll be able to, in two more months, because I, um, I started streaming in, or I started streaming again in August of last year when the hardcore came out. So we got a, a bunch of seven monthers rolling in. However, in two more months, I get to make the creepy, uh, Twitch baby jokes. So I hope you guys are prepared for that. Oh shit. Uh, where'd you come from? Here, one second. I received a text. I'm putting you guys on the back burner. You have become deprioritized. Those dirty streamers. Probably LSF, livestream fail. Hey, what's up, Sergeant? Yep, we started streaming in August last year. Uh, Semi-consistently. I don't know, I've, I've, I've had my bouts of uh, absence here and there, but... Pretty consistently these days, I'd like to say. I'm trying to get any surface thing on everything. <laughs> we still on for that Nomer GDKP tonight? Oh hell yeah, brother. I'm up. Uh, yep, I got it. Oh, are you running it too? Okay, yes. Yeah, sure, yeah, absolutely. 
buff my poopy marksmanship DPS. Yeah, I gotta get my pet happy too. Oh, you can you can switch to it then, because I mean, I'm I'm marksmanship anyway, so it'd be a probably better upgrade. Now, now, now I got an excuse if I do poorly. It's like, well, I, if I had marksman, then I just hope I don't get launched this time. So the things bop you on the side. I just, I'll have to remember that crap. So I'm gonna go over here preemptively. That so doesn't have those things bop you. The little bob bombs. Oh, he turned. Wait, did he do a 180? Or am I just? Did I misread him? He did like a 180 crab in that crab. I feel. Uh oh. <laughs> Man down. Nice try. Dodge the cogs. Dodge the gears of war. Oh, I'm third in damage. Oh my god. Pro. Show you guys how to crowd pummel. Okay. Hey, pull arm. And the wrist. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Look at this crap. It was beautiful gameplay. I'm gonna roll on both of these, baby. Streamer prio roll. <sighs> oh. Streamers get plus 10 to their roll. I don't know if you guys know this, so I should actually get that. Congrats. Oh, we had this one too. This is a very minor upgrade to my uh oh sure one sec sorry Ooh. nice thank you this is very it's a pretty slight upgrade here but I'll take it three agility intellect for my arcane shot crits Where'd they go? I'm lost. Is that Marksman Biss? I think so, yeah. Um, what should we enchant it with is the question. Do we do Intellect? Or no, is there an Agility two-hander enchant for this phase? It used to be Weapon Damage or Intellect. I need to, I need to look up enchants actually. 
Yeah, more intellect means less viper. True. I think you can skip these this pack. Dismantle. Wait, dismant is that a new enchant? What's dismantle? I've never heard of that. Two polar arms, one with dismantle, one with int. That would be this that would be such a streamer move, actually. <laughs> I do two polar arms actually. Oh, it's an epic enchant? Oh, it's a Nomer enchant, huh? Here, hang on, we can look this up. Uh, ch -ch -ch crafting. Oh, I got it. I can't do it in combat, I guess. Hang on. Now the the script has been flipped. I used to tell you guys all about this game. Now you guys are telling me about it. I said before that is kind of a nice thing about. I mean, I still make WoW videos here and there, but not, not being like a news channel. I would always, all the time have to like, um, you know, go on WoWhead or, or MMO Champion and basically, uh, basically spoil the game for myself. It's actually been kind of a nice change of pace of just like playing the game so I can kind of just discover this stuff as it comes out. Or you guys will tell me about it. I want to do crafting. Enchanting, right? Here we go. Dismantle. Chain of weapon to cause all spells and attacks. Sometimes deal 60. And, oh, wow. Oh, to mechanical creatures. Okay, so it's a gnomer. Ah, I got you. So that's why I said get two. Right, okay. So one one for gnomer again and one for like PvP or something. Okay. Well, with how few marksmanship hunters there are in the game, I am I imagine that... um. It wouldn't be a big deal to get two of them. Oh god, I'm always scared of this elevator. Okay. Pendulum of Doom is the OG Elderman two-hander. 4.0 speed, right? Romaneri, thank you, man. It says I'm a boost. I'm a, bleh, I'm a boost. I'm a beast, and the YouTube videos are incredible. Well, thank you, Roman. That's very kind of you, man. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy my streams as well. Streams have been described as being pretty, uh, pretty chill, like the videos, so... Oh, Dismantle comes with the red glow. Oh my god. I remember uh, back in the day when this when I first played this game in 04 to 07, I got a, uh, what was it, Beast Slaying enchant solely because it made your weapon glow red. I didn't even care what the thing did. I just wanted the glowy red weapon, so I got Beast Slaying enchant. It was glorious. <laughs> Bakia as well. Thank you, man. I, I mean, that was, um, I've said before. So I came from SWG, right? So, you know, the whole Jedi thing, the lightsabers, the glowy weapons. 
I remember uh, one one of my most vivid memories of this game was um, entering Iron Forge for the first time and seeing everybody with their glowy weapons like fiery enchant, beast slaying, weapon damage, all the blue, orange, red, and green weapon enchants. That kind of appealed to me. I remember I think my first message in chat. Or one of my first messages was in Iron Forge general chat. I asked, "How do you get the glowy weapons?" And people said, "Enchanting." I was like, "Oh God, I gotta have that crap. I gotta be a pretend Jedi." Or stack and melee. Um, was I uh, heading out for this? Okay. Who are, we, who are we starting with as the first one out? Okay. Cool. I'll, uh... I'll stay on this side, if that's okay, Kelvin. Alright. Boop, 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 boop. You guys hear my texts? Remember watching the Swifty video guides on how to get the glowy hands? Oh my god. Core memory unlocked. That was, it was a glitch with the scrolls, right? You had to like use a scroll of protection when you had a higher level scroll on you or something and you'd get the perma glowy hands. That's a vanilla glitch they eventually patched out. I remember, uh, So it's gonna be me and Kelvin here that are going out. He's gonna go out first, I think. Ornicus says same. I've always been a fan of glowy weapons and MMOs. Always made you feel more powerful. Dude, I people underestimate how important cosmetics are in video games. I feel like cos transmog cosmetics, I said this before. I feel like it's a more important form of character progression than actual gear for the average player. People care what their characters look like. It's all about looks, baby. Hey, Corvy. Uh-oh. So I, I gotta be in melee. So Kelvin's gonna get it. Our healer's getting it. <laughs> Things are going Ari apparently. <laughs> We're kind of panicking a little bit. <sighs> okay, so I'm out next. And then next will be Kelvin again, I think. <laughs> we got a little bit of panic going on here. It's all good. <laughs> ah, poop. Was that my, is that my fault if I get pulled in there? Am I getting too close? So it's gonna be Kelvin next. Yep, okay, good. That's supposed to happen, so now I go out. Yep. Gotta be farther than this healer. There we go. Nice. Was that you, Geo, that saved that one? So it'll chain to the closest to I have to keep that in mind. Okay, I'm gonna pop a nature prod potion. Alright, my turn. So we, we don't want to get Tigris here, so I'm going to kind of 
Trying to chain it like over here. Okay, it's on me. There we go. Melee! Oof, okay. Got it. The World Warper. Oh, it's a teleporter. The boots we need too, right? The boots we need, I think. Yes, we do. Boots is the last one we need. Ooh, this, we got some good loot here. Roll, baby. All right. 74! Ah, ah, damn it. Congrats, Kelvin. Really happy for you, bro. Let's go over the trinket, though. That trinket looks interesting. It teleports you... I, I feel like this is like, um... There's a toy that does the same in Retail WoW. It teleports you randomly throughout the world. Now, welcome to the streams, Corby. Nice to have you here, man. Better, better late than never. I only started streaming uh, like seven months ago, though, so... Hunter spec. The machinist gloves. Oh wait. Uh, I guess I'll roll on them. A bugger got it. I did. I thought these were caster gloves for some reason. Nice scratch butter. Ah uh, shit! Sorry. Hang on. I keep doing this too. All right. Good to go. I think I won the gloves actually. 69 we gotta beat. Damn it! Ah! Geo got it. Oh, baby. Reapply Chimera Shot. Yes, indeed. So I'm going to hold on to these ones, though, because this is only AP for Mechanical. So. Well, I mean, just six Agi, seven Stamina, and then Hit Chances. That's just pretty good by itself. Yeah, I feel like there's, um... A retail version of this toy. Yep, we got the gloves. Butter Pop was a uh, off spec, he said, so. Defaulted to us. Uh, there are glove enchants too, right? Well, there's reinforced armor. I had my old ones on. I have to take a look at all of the enchants for this phase because I have no idea what's new and what's unlocked. By Vaggy, you say Bakia? Okay. Currently, I'm pretty unenchanted right now. <laughs> now that I have gold, though, we can definitely take care of that. This is like um, my first stream I've done where I've actually had gold in this phase from our all of our fashion. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh God. Still Navius, thank you for the prime. I'm trying to fight off a sneeze right now. I think we're good. Look at that 695 Chimera shot crit though. Not too bad.
I can already kind of feel using Viper Nest too with the uh, polearm upgrade, which is definitely nice. So I already got two two items this raid. Not too bad. We got the polearm and the gloves. Can't complain at all. Put three Nomer musics in the background. <laughs> I, I won't torture you guys this stream. I'll be nice. Uh, Mr. Matt asked how it made gold in phase two. We've been um, farming winter squid, Matt, in Eshara. I think I'm I'm pretty happy with the gold I have now, though. So any future squids I get, I'm just gonna hang on to. Tim Allen as well. Thank you for the tier one, man, for seven months. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I highly recommend the winter squid farm if you don't mind fishing. Just throw on, you know, like a Netflix movie or something, TV series, or a monotone video about World of Warcraft in the background. Uh, head on over to Ashara, Tanris, Feralis, Hinterlands, I hear is good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The classic... The classic Gnomer wipe. <laughs> we can live, don't worry. <laughs> Go die over there away from me. Don't drop like a mine on me. There we go. Beautiful gameplay. Fake die. Why are they waiting here? What's going on? Oh, they're evading right now. Oh, Jesus! Don't worry, guys. No one important died. <laughs> There's a thing coming, Geo. A thing. He's coming. <laughs> you want to kill him? Yeah, aim shot. Boom, baby. Oof. Which monotone videos about WoW should I watch? I don't know. I hear there's a guy named uh, Mad Season Show that's kind of pro at that stuff. I think if there'd be farm, that was just from sure. Oh, it's called uh, Winter Squid, Mr. Met. It is a, um, a cooking item. It's the best physical DPS food buff in the game, even at max level at 60. And uh, you can no longer get it after I think March 25th, so. It's a pretty good gold farm right now. People are buying them to resell them later on. You can either sell them now or hold on to them. They're, they're expected to go up in price once you can no longer farm them. Oh, they're fighting up here. Oh shit, I did not realize.
They're camping the portal? They're spawn camping. <laughs> yeah, they got landmines on the teleporter. Careful. They're camping. <laughs> <laughs> it's like BFD entrance all over again. Nord Noah, what's up, man? Thank you, dude. The Prime for some months. My pleasure, dude. Thank you for uh, being here to listen to me. I appreciate it. I think uh, we're waiting on the team to come back um, through this way over. Oh, here, let me get my pet out so I can pull the trench. We pulled the trench there. That's what happened, by the way, you guys. It's a classic Nomer White. You get too close to the ledge here, and uh, you pull the stuff from down there, and they like go all the way up, and they grab everything along the way. That's the Nomer Gun special. Bunsen, thank you. For the tier one for seven months. Darker an agent and a nullifier camping here. Totus as well. Guys, would you like to do a little bit of Sekiro after this run? I'm feeling like getting my ninja on a little bit. Turn up the music. Actually, you know what? That's a good point. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Old Faithful here. One sec. Iron Forge. Vanilla. I've had enough of the the Nomer gun music. Here we go. Is your hardcore melee hunter still alive? He is indeed, Ginjack. Oh, they're going. Okay, go, go, go. Um. Yeah, he's, I think he's like level 28 or something, my melee hunter. I guess what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of like spamming rested XP on him and only playing him once, once I cap out. That's the best way to do hardcore runs. Yeah, I gotta go pee. I'll be right back in a second, you guys. Just one moment. Here, B. Okay, I washed my hands, I swear. It's volley time, baby. I have to press the spell at least once a raid. Oh, look at the numbers. Oh, I love that crap. 
It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I'm actually really in the Sekiro mood right now. It would be really nice to finish Dragon's Dogma before the second one comes out, but I just don't think I'll be able to do that in time. Plan for variety in case you guys are just tuning in. Um, we're gonna... So I, I want to stream WoW every stream. I think the way I want to do variety is start with WoW, end with variety. Um, plan for variety will be finish Sekiro between now and Dragon's Dogma uh, 2 that releases. And then when Dragon's, blah, blah, Dragon's Dorgon's Dogma 2 releases, then we will switch to that. Yeah, we were just talking about that, Kaiser. I was, I was debating on... Um, I was debating on trying to rush to beat Dragon's Dogma before the second comes out, just so... Because I feel like I should do that to kind of earn the right to play the second one, but... I feel like either A, I would fail at that, or B, if I were to succeed, I'd have to like rush through it. So, from what I hear, it's a game I should take my time with. But, yeah, I, was, I, want, I want to try the new one that's coming out. Ooh, somebody's using the, the chicken, nice. Let me turn down the Iron Forge music a bit. I feel like it's too loud. There we go. We got number one on this fight last time. I have high hopes for myself. No, I'm a, I'm a very big newcomer to Dragon's Dogma. People have recommended it to me for a long time, but I never, I never pulled the trigger. Was I on a, sh I arranged on sheep again, or? All right, cool. Pound the sheep. <laughs> Have you played The Witcher? I played a little bit of The Witcher 3. Witcher, Witcher, I've only consumed... You're gonna hate me for this. I've only consumed through the Netflix series. <laughs> I've not played the games, nor have I read the books. And I hear the, the Netflix series is kind of like a bastardization of, uh, of the, of the, uh, the world. But I do want to do the games one day, too. I hear it's really good, yeah. You really tower over your monitor like your webcam? Oh, yeah. I'm actually half Thor Bjornsson. I like to announce. The book is better. I hear there's some uh, controversy between the author of the book, the creator of the series, and the game, and... Uh, uh, Witcher series is made by CD Projekt Red, if I'm not mistaken. CD Projekt Red and the, the creator of the series had, like, some drama going on. Like, they were suing each other or something. I don't, I don't know too much about it. Netflix series just sucks. I liked it because I, I kind of got a man crush on Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill's one of my favorite actors, and I think he's, he's a great Geralt. From, you know, my limited perspective of what Geralt is, but... Yeah, I won't be watching it because they're replacing him, so it's a moot point, I suppose. I also like Yeskir. Yeskir is one of my favorites, too. I like bards in general in games. I played a barge and a bard, rather in um, Final Fantasy XIV. I always thought it would be really cool in WoW if WoW had like a bard class where you could like make your own... Oh shit. Um, where you can make your own... Oh I, got, oh, I got destroyed by that. I thought it was out of range. Oh shit, that's my bad. Sorry, healers. Um, okay, this is about to... Okay, breath... 
Okay, so I can't do that. That's getting lightning shield. I'm gonna switch over here. Get my pet off that. Sorry, hang on. I gotta, I gotta focus on this crap. I'm wiping my raid. Breath. Okay, sheep time again. Come on, kitty cat. Oh god. It's only one stag that time. Now kitty, it's a bad kitty. Okay, there he is. Sorry, where the hell is my pet here? I think this is a wipe. We got a wipe here. We got a wipe here. You should be able to chrono boon while you're feigned death. They should make that change. Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Damn it. That was an unfortunate flame breath. Poop. That's one cooked dwarf right there. That's pro honestly, that's probably retribution. Back in the day, uh, circa 2005 or 6 gaming, maybe whenever they released AQ40, I told you guys uh, when we we're whenever we were wiping on Twin Emperors, the hunters would like go into a corner in the Twin Emperor room and feign death, and the rogues would like go on top of the hunters' corpses in order to put a blizzard on them. And there's like a big drama of that with my guild. Honestly, that was just just a little bit of divine retribution, probably. Karma. That's what that is. Hey, what's up, Jainson? Uh, it's his first time playing WoW with Saad. I really enjoyed it. I never really played any of the expansions, he says. Uh, do you think they would continue into Saad, into the expansions, and love, love your content as well? Um, I... So, some people call this Hopium, Jainson. I personally think that they're going to splinter off from the other expansions instead of going into Outland and doing the whole BC thing. I think they're going to stay within Kalimdor and the Eastern Kingdoms and make Classic Plus. And there's a few reasons for that. One, the developers have outright said they're asked, okay, what happens to Sod characters? Um at the end. Are you, are you going to throw it into Classic Era? You know, of course, stripping the runes and stuff. And uh, just like they did with Season of Mastery. Uh, to which they said, paraphrasing, no, we have something special planned for Sod characters. They have also previewed uh, various other areas of the game. Okay, this is Mecha Torque. They previewed other areas of the game, like uh, the Karazhan Crypts and whatnot. They said that they're open to finishing like abandoned areas in the game uh, the big one here being like high jowl they could also do something i always say with what eventually became ghostlands and eversong and combining that with if you go to blizzard's page for classic wow they're actively recruiting developers specifically for classic to quote like make new experiences or something i forget how they worded it so i i don't know who knows i could be wrong a lot of people call this hopium it could very well be but i think that after, you know, Nax comes out and whatnot, you can maybe see some endgame content sort of like Classic Plus, what people describe Classic Plus to be, so. Bring back the Dragon Isles? Isn't a Dragon Flight the Dragon Isles? Where does Dragon Flight take place? Surely the Dragon Isles, right? 
The Dragon Elves have kind of been on the back burner for decades in the game. I figured Dragonflight would have been when they uh, they finally explored that, but they were planned for vanilla, as far as I know. Hey, what's up, Celestio? Uh, I can't help you. Maybe some shamans in chat can help you with that one. I know nothing of shaman, though. It is the Dragon Isles. Ah, I gotcha. Oh, and Emerald Dream. I'm told that the Emerald Dream was, like, really lackluster. It was, like, it was very disappointing. I know nothing of it other than that people found it really disappointing. Seems like the WoW community is so splintered. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I feel like the WoW community is probably one of the most splintered communities in gaming. You got like, you got the people, first off, you got the people who like really, really hate WoW. They kind of treat World of Warcraft like an ex-girlfriend. And then you also have the people who kind of treat WoW like a current girlfriend. <laughs> or boyfriend. Uh, and then within the people who play it, you have like the current people versus the classic people. And within classic, you kind of have like a few different factions. Within classic, you kind of have, you know, the, you have the vanilla vanilla people, you have the sod people. There's a lot of infighting within the WoW community. Absolutely. Absolutely true. Hey, Frenzy, what's up, man? Welcome back. Thank you for the, the tier one for five months. Yeah, the, the whole no changes thing. Yeah, WoW, it, that's, WoW is very splintered. I don't know if there's any other community. Can you guys think of any other communities that are like very splintered? I know that OSRS has like different ver or RuneScape rather has different versions of the game going on. You got the the OSRS and you got the current RuneScape people, I guess. The GDK peers versus the non-GDK peers. Yeah, it's uh, I've uh, I've made this comparison before in videos that like wow is kind of akin to US politics in a way with like how how crazy it can get and it's actually not as far from the truth as you would think uh, I'll I'll tell you something being a a, war, a World of Warcraft channel uh sh just even sharing an opinion no matter how benign you may think it would be oh my gosh it's like the it's like the most most serious thing in the world for some people it's crazy As far as I'm concerned, I'm total classic Andy. Um, I will occasionally make fun of retail and cataclysm on this stream uh, because I think it's entertaining, but it's never like, I don't know, I never like cultist about it. You can, there, there's a very kind of cultist mentality with WoW and what, whatever side you land on. I just think it's funny. Yeah, MMOs do crazy things to the brain. The parsers versus the casuals, yep, yep. That's another interesting dynamic. I'm not sure what's going on right now. I think we're having, a, like, healer issues or something? Um, that's a, it's actually kind of a working video of mine. I have a, a bit of a script written, uh, kind of analyzing the, the kind of, um, the polarization, I guess you could say, of MMO communities. Just, just not even, uh, between different MMOs. Like, of course, the big ones you have right now are 14 versus WoW, right? Or even Riot, even though it's not out yet. You have the Riot MMO. Um, that people are pretty tribalistic about. But even within these MMOs, you have like this, this tribalism. 
there's yeah there's something about MMOs that really like polarize people I think it's like I feel like with how time consuming they are and really just how long the game has been out like if, if you're somebody who's played WoW like every day since its release it's in 2004 or most days since its release in 2004 I feel like it kind of um, it sort of becomes a part of people's ident identities in a way they kind of base their identity around it so it's like if you criticize the game even even if in your mind you're criticizing a video game or saying okay what's wrong with this what's right with this in their minds because they identify around it it's sort of like you're criticizing them uh, there's there's a lot of times where in a you know YouTube video I'll, I'll say something that's I feel is pretty innocuous I'll say okay well this really isn't that good I think they should change this I think this is kind of bad and then, like, people get, like, really personal really quickly. Um, but in their mind, it's like you've already made it personal, you know, because they identify with the game. I feel like the same is true with, like, politics and stuff. Like, and some for some people, like, politics is their, their, their entire lives, right? And they're just constantly, constantly on social media or, or in some in some way integrated within the political spectrum. So if you disagree with them uh, politically, it's sort of, they kind of take it as like, well, this is like a personal attack on who I am as a person. I think that's in general, no matter what the subject is, not, even, not politics, MMOs, just doing that in general with any one thing is uh, pretty unhealthy, I feel. Uh, one of the, one of the many reasons, actually, why I took such a huge break with this game is I felt like maybe I was looking, you know, I was, I was taking it a little bit too seriously. And uh, you know, these days I I still love WoW. I think I always will love it, but it's just like, yeah. You always got to remember it's a game, right? <laughs> yeah, actually, Eraserhead just said that. Uh, he says that uh, same principle is how people identify themselves a certain political party. It's baked into their identity, which is bad too. Because ideally, politically, uh, you're kind of creating a sunk cost fallacy. Before the era of social media, you could align politically with one spectrum, left or right, typically, right? I know there's it's, there's more depth to that, but these days it's like left or right. And if maybe if you're left leaning, how? So how open would you be to your political opinion changing back in the day before the era of social media compared to today where, you know, everybody has Twitter accounts with 10,000 posts saying how this side is bad, this side is evil. People kind of entrench themselves, you know what I mean? They create this uh, sort of sunk cost fallacy to where if they were to ever open their mind to a different viewpoint, like, okay, well, eh, maybe I didn't think of it this way. Maybe maybe this aspect is bad and this aspect is good. People are much more resistant to that because now they have these huge histories with thousands and thousands and thousands of posts and followers who, who, uh, who followed them because of their political affiliation. So how, how objective can you really expect these people to be? To where if they were to entertain, quote, the other side, even though there shouldn't be sides, where they would get such resistance and pushback to their history on social media. Yeah, social media in general has a very, very large polarizing aspect in this sense. Again, another, uh, not political, but another one of the reasons why uh, I took a break from this game is that, you know, in 2021, Blizzard kind of sucked ass to say the least, and they're very deserving of criticism. Uh, so a lot of the videos I made were very critical of Blizzard, but I felt like that started to sort of become part of my identity as a YouTube channel. Is to, um, I was basically becoming a shit on Blizzard channel, and whenever I would give props to Blizzard, again, because of this huge polar polarization effect in social media, I'll get a lot of pushback for that. Uh, there'd be comments about like being a sellout but and like oh well in this video you said this how can you have a positive opinion of blizzard after saying these things you're 
you're it's it's bad uh it got to a point where it was bad to try to be objective and to give w's where they're deserved and to give l's where they're deserved because of this polarizing effect of social media so i kind of saw that i saw sort of the direction of my channel change that that was one of the many reasons why i uh, took a break Sorry, we're gonna have like a whole tangent here. I think we're waiting on a healer right now. I'm not sure what's going on. Will you try the riot MMO? I think so. If it's looking good, <clears throat> it depends on how it's looking. I'm willing to try most any MMO that comes out. I, I love the genre. I always have, and I think I always will, so. As long as it doesn't look stupid, I'll probably try it. Love Doctor. Hey, Love Doctor. What's up? Mad Season here. Back with another stream for you. How's it going? He says, uh, glad to see you streaming still. Sadly can't watch more since it's my girlfriend's birthday today. Oh, no problem at all. Don't you worry about that. But I wanted to hear your beautiful monotone voice. Love Doctor. Thank you for stopping in, for stopping in today. I certainly appreciate that. Still 10 years away, the Riot MMO. Yeah, it's very far away. I feel like it's kind of early. I definitely want to see more game... Or see any gameplay of it. Of how it's going to work. I'm pretty excited. Um, uh, what excites me about the Riot MMO... Is that... I guess maybe it's the... The circumstances around it... Are very blizz like Here you have... A video game developer with an already established IP making their first MMO. I feel like it's very similar to Blizzard with obviously their Warcraft series being an RTS and then them branching out and making the world of Warcraft. And um, beyond that, just uh, the player base of Riot is huge. I think it, it could have a, a real chance to sort of inject some much needed blood into the MMO genre. Like, uh, the amount of players who play League of Legends compared to World of Warcraft these days, it, it isn't even funny. It's not even a comparison, so... that will get a lot of new people into it, I think. So that's pretty exciting. We're playing Ashes of Creation before the Riot MMO? Yeah, probably. I think uh, I'll probably try Ashes as well. I'm not, like, ultra-hyped from what I've seen. Um, but I think I'm still willing to try it. Kind of funny, Blizzborn ride in a way. Yeah, absolutely. So remember, so League of Legends is a MOBA, multiplayer online battle arena. Uh, the first of which, or this, this is a genre that was spawned from Warcraft Three. There is an, an a mod made for Warcraft Three called Dota, and uh, it was basically the Warcraft Three map, characters, heroes. With, you know, the, the mob creep and stuff. The, the three lanes with towers. You destroy the enemy base. Um, from that came the creation of League of Legends. Someone looked at that add-on. They said, hey, you know what? This, is, this mod is really, really fun. Why not an entire game about this? After Dota came Dota 2 by Valve. There's a big lawsuit, actually, between Blizzard and Valve. Blizzard wanted rights to Dota 2. They uh, lost that battle. And from that, Heroes of the Storm was born. Them trying to reclaim a genre that their game ultimately birthed. But as uh, anybody who paid attention to Heroes' history, that didn't really work out the best. Uh, Su Sukis says that my favorite part about SOD is how fast the raids are once your group knows the stuff it's just a 30 minute, 34 minute run feeling good yeah they're pretty quick I feel like a raid in SOD is kind of the equivalent of a dungeon run in vanilla back in the day right this one we've kind of stalled because we lost a healer so no I've never been much of a MOBA guy 
I know I know a decent bit about its history, but I never really cared for the genre personally. Just not just not my cup of tea, I guess. Yeah, that's also one of the reasons, by the way, if you uh, launch Warcraft 3 Reforged and you go to their mod, their their uh, community made mod section, they have like this scary legal disclaimer that says basically says anything you do, anything you make is our legal rights. It's our property. That's them wanting to avoid another Dota situation. Because it, uh, it slipped through their fingers. Have you played much Diablo? Asked Ozzy. Hey, pretty timely question, Ozzy. I do. I'm, I'm a big Diablo fan. And right now I'm working on a bit of a documentary of sorts for Diablo 3. Although I have not really touched 4, nor Immortal. Nor will I ever will Immortal, so... Yeah, the issue with uh, Warcraft 3 or Forge is like the game kind of sucked and is unfinished, so there's nothing to really lose because <laughs> nobody plays it. Then just today, like the propensity, the chances of being able to create an innovative genre of game has, has shrunken uh, so much, right? It's hard to be innovative in 2024. Like, there's pretty much every genre of game has been creative, right? Compared to, uh, oh gosh, I'm not sure when Dota was first released. But whatever year that was. What was the last innovative genre of game we had? Would that be uh, Battle Royale, maybe? By H1Z1? In, like, the early 2010s? Auto chess? Oh yeah, auto chess too. Auto chess to a lesser extent. I actually like the League Auto Chess. What was it called? It had an actual name. I played it for a little bit. And again, that's not even having ever played League. Really. I mean, I did a couple games here and there. Tarkov and Extraction Shooters? Yeah, true. True that. <laughs> yeah, Tarkov and Dark and dar Darker. Team fight tactics, there you go. I think Dota also did one called Dota Auto Chess, right? Mm, mm, mm. It's hard to understate how innovative um, MMOs were. Just the idea of an online persistent world in the early 2000s for the average person was mind-blowing. You have to keep in mind, like, people were going from games like Ocarina of Time or, um, what's the, what's open world, like, adventure games back in the day? Ocarina of Time and, or like, Mario 64 and stuff. Going to, uh, going to an, an, a persistent online world was quite the, the sight to behold. There's nothing like it. And remember, this was also before social media was really a thing. Just the idea of interacting with people from across the world. A forever multiplayer game. It was insane. Ultima, Final Fantasy, yeah. Like Final Fantasy, the single player, single player uh, RPG games. We're just, we're nothing compared to two giant continents. I hear Helldivers, I see some people mentioning Helldivers. My friends are all playing that game. I'm kind of curious, but with Dragon's Dogma 2 coming out, it was it 11 days you guys said? I don't think I'd want to get into it. <laughs> Sukas asks, speaking of RPGs, what's your favorite of the Final Fantasies? Mine is 9. I like 10. 
I like 10 the most, I think, because I like the characters the most. Usually my, my opinion on a Final Fantasy game doesn't even really have to do much with the system, like the gameplay systems or even the story. It's just the characters. And I really liked a lot of the characters in 10. Orin is my favorite. I also liked Lulu for other reasons. And the music too was amazing. The music as well. Shoutouts to Nobuo Uematsu, one of the greatest composers of all time. You're gonna hate me, but I didn't really care too much for eight, or uh, not eight, I'm sorry, for nine, for the same reason as I didn't like any of the characters in nine. Nine came during my angsty teenage years, so I didn't really like how every character was like five years old in nine, or however the whole, I think they were like, the main characters were like 12 and 13 years old. Final Fantasy games are all unrealistic, let's just get that real, but it's hard to take seriously the emotional depth of eight-year-olds, especially when you're in your angsty teen years, so. Because of that, I didn't really care for it too much. You know what other game has some pretty good music? World of Warcraft. The W.O. dubs. Are they 17? Really? I thought like... I know Titus was, what, 17? Yuna was 16. Was Zidane 17? I felt like he was younger. I could be wrong, though. There was, like, a five-year-old. I think it was the sum... No, not the summoner. The black mage or something. Well, Vivi was a puppet. So I know how he could... I know... I'm not sure where he falls. Aiko, wasn't it? Aiko Carol or whatever was, like, nine years old. There you go, Aiko. I still remember a lot of the names. There's Adamant Coral. Freya was the horse lady. She's like Kane, right? From Final Fantasy IV. The Dragoon. Vivi, I believe, was supposed to be young. But he, yeah, like I said, he was like a puppet. Desta says that auto chess was birthed in Dota, huh? Ah, I see. I thought TFT was the first. Then those filthy rights are stole it. <laughs> it's kind of funny though, but uh, World of World of Warcraft. World WoW was innovative in a bunch of ways, but I think you could say that EverQuest was probably more innovative than WoW. EverQuest was just too hardcore. It was too difficult, too high of a learning curve. Uh, I think that prevented it from becoming as popular as WoW did. But WoW was heavily inspired by EverQuest. Absolutely. And Warhammer. Tolkien in general. Ooh, Kaiser says that Auto Chess was in StarCraft Brood War in the user map settings. Was it a uh, was it like a StarCraft add-on? I honestly don't know, so I'll, I'll leave that to you guys. Punishment and EQ for dying, I believe, was XP loss, and you also had to go retrieve your gear off your character, off your corpse where you died. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I didn't actually play EverQuest back in the day. Some EverQuest OGs might be able to help me out on that one. Hey, what's up, Ace? He asked, do you think that Cataclysm Classic will be a success? I think it will on launch. I think it'll see a pretty, uh, pretty, a lot of activity on launch, but I think it's going to die out pretty quickly. I think Sod, in the, in the Classic realm... I think Sod will be the most populated.
There's XP loss and running back to retrieve items. Ah, you know what? That's where SWG got that from. SWG had the same... Th well, SWG didn't have XP loss. But SWG had the mechanic to where you had to run back to your corpse and pick up your items. Which was really, really annoying because if you died, chances are your corpse is surrounded by enemies, right? So... Like, getting back your corpse with no buffs or any of your gear could just create these death chains. I remember I, I got so angry. Um, I got so angry. Early SWG I died, and it was like an 8-hour thing. I, could, I just could not get my corpse back because it was surrounded by a bunch of hostile enemies. You needed, like, to find a, a guild or a group of people to help you get your crap back in that game and just the thing is is that the average person doesn't want to go through that crap and it was only until um, World of Warcraft is when developers realize that that the average person doesn't want to take eight hours to get their items they're just gonna quit they eventually removed that in SWG sometime pre-CU but that's how it was when it was released You could even lose a level if you, uh, if you just got it, says EKT, oh no. You lose your level, do you like lose the spells you get, or the gear? I guess there's, I'm sure there's gear that requires certain levels, so does that like an equip or something? <laughs> but, all that aside, okay. You still have to appreciate these early MMOs because they they were pioneers in a lot of ways. They they were stepping stones for eventually WoW to bring it into the mainstream, right? So you still got to give them props and respect for that alone, in my opinion. Sometimes I like to do this with my fire trap, make like pretty lights appear everywhere. I believe this is only client side. I'm pretty sure only I can see this right now. Miss Asheron's call says black of all trades. I hear it's, it was pretty good. I hear that it was a very story driven MMO. That's what people remember the most about it. it certainly left a mark on a lot of people. I feel like MMOs, more so than any other game, influence people the most due to their social nature. Say what you will about, you know, like Ocarina of Time, old Final Fantasies. The fact that um, MMOs are social and you have the capability of like meeting people and making friends, I think that most heavily influences me. I, I still play with people today that I met like 20 damn years ago in this game. It's crazy. Frost Trap? I think Frost Trap is like a little line. Yeah, it also looks pretty cool. Woo! <laughs> Can we make a penis? Uh, 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 uh. I don't think I can do it fast enough. Nah, I can't do it fast enough. Whoa. Whoa. This is like the old school screensavers, right? Uh, what are we doing here? Let me pop in Discord here. You guys remember, um... The old school pipe, pipe dream screensaver, the 3D green pipes. I remember uh, the first computer I got. I would, I would, of course, being a uh, teenager in the late 90s, early 2000s, I looked at copious amounts of pornography, and I got a virus on my computer that like changed what my keys did. So whenever I hit the A key, it would be like the letter P. 
whenever I hit F, it would be like F4 or something. It just jumbled everything up. And uh, my dad had to like reformat the computer to fix it. That's the only way we could fix it. The Pharaoh's Curse, is that what's that called? Is uh, I guess it wasn't a bite, it was like malware or something, right? I like, I definitely appreciate how Trap Launcher, if you go past the max range, it'll stop and put it at the maximum possible range. Like that, for instance. Did he know how he got the virus? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what I said. I don't know what happened. It just started doing this one day. <laughs> you guys remember launch.com where this is pre YouTube era launch.com where you could watch any music video you wanted for free with advertisements of course launch.com what about ebombs world I'll tell you about OG social media memes before memes existed was ytmnd you're the man now dog.com birthplace of memes you merely ad you merely adopted the memes I was born in them molded by them did you guys know that YouTube first launched as a dating website but it was uh, predominantly occupied by males it was like 95% males 5% females so much so that the website's creators started paying females to make pages on there. Um, and the reason it became a video sharing website is they had the option of like recording yourself and talking about yourself for uh, potential mates for fluid exchange to learn more about you. But then people just started randomly posting videos of like cute cats and stuff. And that's all they used it for, because no one was finding love on YouTube dating website. So then they just said, oh wait, hang on, we're, we're onto something here. People just sort of want a place to post their cute pictures of kittens and puppies. So how about we just forget the dating crap and just let people post videos and watch them. And so YouTube was born. You guys remember MySpace? Oh, we're all here now. Let's stop, let's stop reminiscing. LimeWire, yeah, LimeWire is classic. That's probably where I got the virus, actually, now that you mention it, Dobson. <laughs> probably got it from LimeWire, actually. Napster, yeah, there you go. Before they got sued by Metallica, right? Newgrounds. Don't don't forget Newgrounds. That's where they originally posted the Anixia Wipe animation. that breath baby I bet you it's probably worth it to uh, tab serpent sting that's probably what I should be doing stick on the sheep now for the or sheep for now though Get this mofo to 75. Alright, switch. Alright, breath. Oh, the bomb! 
Oh, breath. Oof. All right, full mana. All right, sheepy, sheepy. Wasn't me. Somebody left. Uh, somebody left aspect of the pack on. That's a classic right there. Uh, ooh, that's a close one. Look at that melee weave, baby. Okay, we're good. Alright, good. Okay. Yeah, dragon's low. Sheep said thirty. About to push him twenty five. Here we go. Focus chicken. We gotta switch back to sheep here as soon as we can. Oh, that was a close one. A wipe. Oh, it's a wipe. I think we're wiping. We got everything like five percent. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. No one important died. How'd we do? Second? Eh, not bad. Not, not too shabby, I'll take it. Uh, I need to do another Agi pot, right? Yeah. If I Agi potted, we would've got him. I'm going to go in my cuddle puddle. Hang on. Hey, what's up, Smork? I oh, asked, uh, what's the gear like? Anything from Nomer? A couple of upgrades today. We got this pole arm, and we also got these gloves. Chance to hit 130 AP, 6 7 Agi Stamina, and this is a 59 15 Agi Stamina Intellect. We also picked these up in previous raids. Chest, Necklace, Pants. Uh, what else did we get? Oh, we got, um,. This tanking trinket of off a greed roll. 
Thank you. Alright, we got this. Hey, what up, Pencil Nick? I'm liking Sod. I'm playing it pretty casually. I haven't been going super hardcore, but I'm enjoying it. Okay, so... So I'm having trouble... I'm trying to ship something to Italy. And uh, boy, I'll tell you something. It is a pickle. So I'm trying to ship a plushie uh, to a viewer. But he lives in Italy. And the issue is that to ship a toy to Italy, it has to be completely made out of wood. Otherwise, you have to like fill, fill out a customs form. And then there's like tariffs and crap. I have no idea how to ship internationally. I'm kind of in a pickle. Do you guys know what the hell I'm doing wrong here? It's very confusing. I know it should be possible, but yeah, I'm kind of having trouble with that. I just want to sh ship a damn plushie, damn it. Just fill out the form. Maybe I'll just do it. The worst they can do is just send it back, right? Sent some stuff to Italy a while ago, says UFOs. Still worth starting, Sad. Ask Lex. I think so, Lex. Um, here, hang on. Actually, I think we're gonna do a poll. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll extrapolate in a moment, Lex. Give me a moment. Excuse me. Oh, that still reaches me. Oh my god. I guess you can't outrange the breath, huh? I thought it was safe there. Shit. Fortunately, do not have a healing potion to offset that. You know what? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, bandage. A little bit to kind of save the healer's mana. Oh, Jesus. I'm bad. Let's just focus on this sheep here. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta focus up here. I'm griefing. Boom, boom, boom. All right, he is going thorns mode, which means we switch. Back to you. Keep an eye on Dragon. All right, we're good. All right, pop cooldowns now. <laughs> Beautiful dodge. guy to 50. If you're wondering why I'm uh, I'm switching, um, every tw every 25 percent, 
this guy gets a uh, lightning shield, so I can't uh, I can't hit him then, or else I'll take massive damage. Okay. Let's do a better job keeping an eye on the dragon. Shit, shit, sorry. I know that can happen with a sheep. Oh, that thing's at 15%. Ooh, okay. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Our job is sheepy now. The very slow sheep of doom. This dragon's probably... No, okay, good. Got lucky. Looks like the squirrel's at 10%. Okay, dragon now. Oh god. Okay, sheep, sheep, sheep. Sheep's at uh, six. Are we good? All right, kill everything. All right. Nice. Woof. Clean. Run. Just be quiet. If if they're like T Rexes, they only chase you if they see movement. So just stand completely still. Be quiet. <laughs> no, go die over there. Go die over there, Geo. Good job. <laughs> Hey, hey, nobody important died. <laughs> Stunned you. I can't even. Hey, my pet didn't even die. What the hell? What what dropped here? We got the irradiated robe. The power depleted legs. We already have that. Ingenuity's cover. Those are some arcane shot cape right there. And the true silver filament, coif, plate, pally, pally helmet here. Wait, this isn't a coif, it's like a headband. Whatever. ST confirmed? I don't know, that's what people, that seems to be the consensus right now. Is that, um, ST is the next one. All right, well, we got the menagerie. Now it's just time for this guy. Let's go to repair and stuff. One more boss, you guys. Uh, I'm on Crusader Strike. Chusen. Which is a RP PvP server. Oh, I have a thing here.
Weird all wonder gear. This has to do with professions, I'm sure. I'll take a look at that later in my own time. Do I have a... Uh, we're all out of grime encrusted objects, right? No. Our last one. Ooh, isn't the mystic essence actually valuable? Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Two gold right there. You're passing out loot now. It's for your epic helm. Gotcha. The difference between RP, PvP, and PvP. Um, you're expected to roleplay on RP, PvP servers. They're just like RP servers except PvP in the world. Uh, that being said, Crusader Strike isn't the best at that because it's like the streamer server, so there's a lot of non RPers who have rolled on here because they wanted to play with their their favorite streamers and stuff. So, yeah, some people follow it, some people don't. I I personally don't RP, but I also don't break other people's RP, so I'm kind of like a neutral party. I have no strong feelings one way or the other. Who got what? Grats Kelvin on the robe. Grats to Jasmira, right? Jasmira on the legs. Nobody wants this cloak. G-Dog as well. I just saw that. G-Dog, thank you so much. Thank you for watching my videos. I'm glad you like them. I hope you enjoy uh, my stream here as well. Hoping to have a YouTube video out for you guys in about a week-ish time. Hopefully, it might be a little bit rosy of me. Maybe a couple weeks. Hopefully a week is what I'd be gunning for. Uh, anyway, to answer, uh, who asked that earlier? If if it's uh, if it's still a good time to join Sod, I think Sod, it's always a good time to join pre-level sixty because the level caps change. Right now, the level cap is forty, so I mean you'll be behind people in economy and stuff. People will have a gold stockpile ahead of you, but um, whenever the next phase launches and the level cap is increased to six uh, to fifty, rather, I'm sorry. It's kind of like a soft reset, so I feel like because of that, Sod is probably the best version of WoW in terms of, you know, starting late. And, you know, hitting level 40 also shouldn't take too long because they have a 100% XP buff from 1 to 40. So it's, it's very friendly to joining late. I have to pee again. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot of water today. It's going right through me. Alright. That's my favorite. <laughs> I'll try my best. And bomb duty, you guys. This is my bomb killing song. Hang on, we have to switch. Bomb duty's hectic. I'm gonna try my best here, though. Oh no. <laughs> I have to pee too. Hang on, let's hang on, I won't actually start the song when we pull. This is my gamer mode song, okay? This is what I use when I need to really focus up. 
We're going to be on bomb duty. It's a very hectic job here. Okay. Yeah, give me the 20 second. I'll speed run it. Okay. I washed my hands, I swear. Let's do this crap. You guys are about to watch some impeccable gameplay. I was born ready. So don't know we're not gonna do damage meters in this fight. You guys aren't allowed to see. Because I'm gonna be bomb bomb duty, okay? So my DPS won't suffer. So it's not indicative of my true skill. You guys ready for this crap? Oh, my foot's falling asleep. Oh god, don't pull. Oh, oh no. Oh god. Zoom out all the way. Bring it, Mecha Torque. Bring the shizzle. We'll bring the shizzle all over the frizzle. Go. Beautiful gameplay. Wonderful gameplay. Go. Kill. Okay, I let's kill them before they do more bombs. Come on. I've done my job. Oh no. Okay. Go. Okay, he's got it. Beautiful game, but... Okay, kill. Got, got him. Oh, I thought he clicked it. Oh, poop. Oh, is there... There's gonna be another one soon then. Okay, we got it. Maybe he was on cooldown. Or maybe the same one popped. I have no idea. But whatever, it's fine. Alright, where's the next one of you, Morpho? Open your mouth right now. Dare you to open your mouth. Keep going. What the fuck? Miss! Ah. Okay. Wonderful. Got it. Okay. Oh, there's another one already. Are you kidding me? Got it. Wonderful gameplay. This one now? No, don't shoot that target. Oh god. Okay, slowing that one. Clicking. <laughs> I think we're wiping. Going until the end. Those are some pretty clean bombs, though, okay? I just wanted to say, those are some pretty clean. Okay, I'm fading death. Ah, damn it, I screwed it up, apparently. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Don't die for 10 more seconds. Oh god, I'm the only one up. <laughs> Four. Three. Fake die. Yes. Don't worry, you guys.
Nobody important died. That was some fine bomb gameplay though, okay? Let's give it up for uh, me. <laughs> This is my last agility elixir, so it's imperative we do not die. Wait, did we, uh... No, I guess we lost our world buff. <laughs> oh, Apocobat, thank you for the prime. I'm so sorry, this was 30 minutes ago. I just saw that. Thank you, Apaco, if, if you're still here. Hopefully they're still here. I feel bad when I miss that. Thank you. The glowing present, I think, is just like a rough stone or something. That's a tiger's eye. It's from the uh, the grime encrusted object. You guys want to hear some Nomergon music? Let's go, baby. <laughs> what about some improvised Nomer music? <laughs> You're like, this or BFD more. I like Nomer Gun more. Well, I don't like the music more, but overall I like Nomer more. Can't we just like... What if we just have like 10 hunters aimed shot them all at once, right? On, on pull. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so remember, we got a fap. Two stacks, we fap. Alright, bomb time. It's time. That first attempt was merely a setback. Time. I'm just going to start with this. It takes a while for the first bomb to drop. Okay, uh, never mind, it's here. Oh god. No, attack that one! Oh god. Okay, we got it. We got it. That's beautiful gameplay. Oh, uh, there's another one over there. Oh, watch out you guys. Okay, we got it. Good job. Okay. Don't worry, we're just warming up here. So watch. Watch how fast that one died. Beautiful gameplay. Okay, he's hitting it. Good. Oh, nice miss. Beautiful miss. 
I, I'll get it. Okay. Okay. Okay, here. The thing is, it takes me two auto shots to, uh, kill him. If only I could kill him in one auto shot. I'll get this one. Okay, whew. We're gaming right now. I'm gonna bandage up. Should be able to get the next one. Okay, boom. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, over there. Uh, did we get it? Yes. Oh wait, no. Okay, now I got it. Okay, fap. <laughs> oh, this is too much. Uh, oh. Uh, we need to click here. God. This is this is beginning to be too much for me. Okay. I can click this one actually. Okay. Woof. Woof. Bandaging self. Save healer mana. Alright, this is the last phase, right? Oh, I got a phone call. Come on. I don't know who you are, but it'll have to wait. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, please. Oh, no. Uh... Oh, we need a... Yeah, yep. Thank you. Oh, I'm so overwhelmed. Okay, I like BFD more. I've changed my mind. Okay. Nice click. Beautiful click. I got this one. Trap. Oh, we need we need to click on this one. This one too. Ah. Oh god. I can get this one. Oh, there's too many. Oh, there's already one over here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stone form. Okay. 
Uh, it's over, right? Mm -hmm. No, he's not doing another phase. Oh my god. Oh my god. Got it. I'll try to get the next one if it's near me. I'll try to kind of stand in the middle. Okay, go, go. Get out of here. You too. Beautiful gameplay. Oh, oh. oh, this one already? Oh my god. I'll get it. Okay. Nice, that was a beautiful click right there. Uh, okay, this one, go. Beautiful get back. Okay, there's another one gonna be right here. Right there, go, go, go. Okay, I can come out of that one, got it. Oh, come on, dude. I'm gonna click this one, I'm gonna get hit, but I'm gonna click it. Okay, got it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. Good lord. Castering. Oh, the cloth helmet dropped. Nice. Wait, hang on, hang on. One second. We have some beautiful bomb gameplay, if I do say so myself. Good job, boys. I had full confidence in myself the whole time, don't you worry. So this dropped. Shockadin ring here. Well, I don't know, castering, I guess. Just castering in general here. Uh, we got the notes, of course, and the power depleted legs, which I already have, so. Damn it, he didn't drop the gun, you son of a bee. Oh my god. Alright, who, uh, who called me there? I have no idea who called me. I'll have to return that later. <laughs> Someone wants something. Nice. Congrats, guys. Mum's taxi. Thank you, man, for the tier one for three months. GG's. GG's, guys. You guys. Uh, eh. Should we do Sekiro? That's it for Nomer. I was thinking of doing Sekiro, but... Honestly, it's getting kind of late. I, I wanted to do more video editing. Uh, would you guys hate me if we hold off on the Sekiro until tomorrow? 
Oh, Ao, you have that gun? I'm totally jealous, but grats. Nice, Ao. Yeah, Ao got it. The super soaker, as I like to call it. I'm debating Sekiro. Mm, but I want to do more video stuff, too. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Another Nomer? Oh, God, no. I'm Nomered out right now. Unless I don't have to do bomb duty. Bomb duty takes it out of me. Do what you feel is best. Let's do Sekiro. You know what? We'll do at least an hour of Sekiro. Let's switch it up. I kind of honestly just feel like playing some Sekiro. we we'll are switch it up a little bit for the stream, you guys. Um, I want to def I want to beat Sekiro before Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out in 11 days. We're in the middle of a playthrough. We just defeated Genichiro. So I'm going to be rusty here too, just so you know. Uh, let me go ahead and switch. Some ninja. Oh, I probably can't say crap in a title. Uh, chill Sekiro before bed bed and we switch category oh Sekiro actually has 2.5 thousand viewers right now on Twitch that's higher than normal I feel alright yeah let's do I want to do some Sekiro have my controller plugged in? Why is this not... Uh-oh. Why is this not working? One sec, you guys. I have to set all this stuff up. Okay, there we go. Uh, so Streamlabs, we switch to Sekiro. And I have to load up Steam. Yeah, that was fun, Nomergon. Thank you, guys. I had a lot of fun, as usual. Even even when it's hectic like that, I enjoy myself. Nomergon's awesome. I like Nom People ask me before, I do like Nomergon more than BFD, so... I like the hectic nature. I complain about it a lot, but... Uh, I like the, the hectic nature. Activision. Have you guys ever heard of that company? I hear they're really good. <laughs> Ironically, the best game Activision has ever published, okay? You're looking at it. Wait, so Activision did Sekiro. Did Activision do like did Activision publish like Dark Souls and stuff too? Okay, so this is Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, and Monotone Streamers Die many, many, many times, probably. Um, we started this playthrough a while ago. We just defeated a major boss called Genichiro. Uh, if you guys missed the first part of my playthrough, I will be uh, compiling it and uploading it to my alternate channel, Bad Season Show, in the future. But uh, let's just continue on here. Have we... Oops. Remnants? No, 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 no. I don't want to... This is like the death stuff. Do we have any... Okay, we have two skill points. I don't know... Let me just kind of get acclimated to what the hell we were doing here. We have two skill points. I don't know what tree I was going down. I think I want like the medicine one first, actually. Let's continue the story. Try to figure out where we are, what we're doing. I'm also a weeb, and I like the, the subtitles. So I have a few reagents to collect. The Immortal Oath, the Rejuvenating Waters, and the Dragon Rots. Yes. There's actually a really interesting story to this game. A lot of it's delivered through item descriptions. 
Like, oh. uh... Um... We have to help Kuro. Oh yeah, that's right. We had, uh, I'm a bad ninja, apparently. You cannot... You must obey the Iron Code. Which means you always protect them. ありがとう。<laughs> um, yeah, there's a whole thing with uh, resurrection and everything in Sekiro. I uh, have already played through this game many times before, so I already know the story, which is why I'm kind of skipping through the dialogue there. And obviously I can't understand Japanese, so I just read the subtitles. But I just want to get to some gameplay right now. Hope you guys don't mind. Hey, ZZ, thank you, man. So because Sekiro streamer? Hell yeah, brother. I want to do a lot of From Software games for you guys. Let me just try to remember my buttons and stuff. It's been a little bit, so... Let's continue on here. Uh, I think we want to talk to this fella over here. What? Oh, uh-oh. I'm being murdered right now, apparently. Ishin's letter. Okay, I think we just needed to grab that. What's happening? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, no. Oh, more enemies. Oh, no. Okay, this is the issue with uh, taking extended breaks with these games, is that you kind of forget what the F you were doing. Um... So we just killed Genichiro. We have to track down a few items. I know, actually, I know one place we need to go for a fact. Um, so we should do that. We can also jump down here. Let's jump down here because we have some tertiary business. Grenade Shark, Whirly Bird, thank you guys. I appreciate that. Uh. There you go. You have to give me a little bit to de rust here, you guys. So, if you didn't know, Sekiro is a game. You're in feudal Japan. From software game. Very hard game. Wait, did we go here already? I guess we went through this area. Yeah, in fact, I remember. This is where we found the uh, black rat. Okay, so we went through here. However, this direction. Actually, no, we went through. We got the... Hang on, we can teleport here. Um, I think I want to do a little place known as Senpu Temple right now. Which is right here. So right now, in the story, there's a guy named Genichiro who's basically trying to become immortal using the divine air blood divine air's blood who we are charged with protecting uh, we just defeated him once but I assure you you will be making a return and we have to collect a few different items to break to sever the immortal gift slash curse and one of these items that we need is in the Senpu Temple, which is over here. This is also giving you a hint about a certain item. There's a dude with armor ahead of us, and his armor can only be penetrated with a ninja tool, the spear, which I believe we do not have yet. Okay, let me just try to... Uh, Oh, we can go this way, actually. Ooh. I wonder if we're supposed to go this way, though, right now. This is back to the beginning of the game. There's a couple of bosses here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Let's do some... I think that area is maybe tougher, so we're going to do the temple first. Yeah, you guys may remember this from the beginning of the game. Uh, actually, I don't think we can get up there from here since we dropped 
down. Shit, hang on. We have to do this first. Let's reorient ourselves. There's much like the Dark Souls series. It's kind of open ended. Oh, damn it. We can just travel here, right? Yeah. It's kind of open ended. You can go to like different air higher level areas first, but it's not really advisable. There's there's kind of a direction that they would want you to go in, so I'm just gonna follow that. If you want to challenge yourself, you can do it out of order, but I'm just gonna do the normal playthrough here. Yeah, see this guy's using the spear. That's your hand. Aha! Yeah, this game actually has a really interesting commentary on the nature of life and death, and immortality and rebirth. I highly, highly, highly suggest it. It is an interesting story, to say the least. There we go. This guy is really tough, actually. The bell guy. I kind of want to sneak up on him. Uh, okay. But he has like really good vision too, so... What if we do a running jump behind him? Okay. That wasn't the most stealthy, but... We got him. Yeah, this guy's really tough. If you don't, uh... If you don't get that backstab, he's, he's kind of a tricky one, actually. Okay. What do we got here? Coin purse, okay. This game was released, I believe, in like... Oh, God, this game's getting pretty old. What year was this released, actually? I do not know off the top of my head. Let's see what you got. Do you have anything cool? Oh, we need this. Oh, a prayer bead. Oh, yeah, we got to get that crap. This is actually more health, I think. This is our fourth prayer bead, I'm pretty sure. The dragon mask. I believe you need the, the full dragon mask to, like, upgrade your attack power or something. <laughs> so we should buy that as well. Um... Ooh, I don't think we can get enough, though, even if we sell everything. No, we can. Okay, we'll have to return to this, especially for the Kirby. 2019, was it? Yeah, it's getting kind of old now. So, we will be finishing Sekiro first, but eventually, um, start using these. These give you more money when you kill enemies for a short while. We will eventually be doing Elden Ring before the DLC comes out too, so. I don't want to linger here for too long because the enemies here revive infinitely. This guy also gives a quest. That's optional. You can bring people to him and he'll experiment on them. You can get some rewards for it, but it's entirely optional. We might do it if we can remember. There's a few different NPCs that, uh... You can bring to him, too. There's, like, bad karma and good karma choices. Oh, shit. Hang on, I've, I've taken a wrong turn. I don't want to be here. That is a very tough boss that we probably can't do right now. Hang on, hang on. I want to go to Senpu Temple. Yeah, the levels in this game are quite varied as well, if you ask me. Much like any From Software game. The level design is pretty damn good. Okay, here we go. This is what we're looking for.
Oh, they you can use the oh you can use that uh, wealth before you use the stackable souls, huh? I did not know that. Well, we want to go through this waterway here. Be very sneaky. So here's um oh shit. How do you uh I unlock the ninjutsu things, right? I think you just hit the attack button again. Oh, I didn't equip it, that's why. So we got this from Genichiro. If you follow up a sneak attack, you can create a cloud of mist, which will let you stealth, essentially. So you can just do these big kill streaks, but it costs those spirit emblems in the lower right-hand corner, so you can't do it infinitely. I'll show you what that looks like. But those are very, very useful. What's this guy shooting the wall? He's like my hunter in mine. He's got the same aim as her, certainly. I guess I haven't learned the slide yet. Elevator secret? No, it doesn't look like it. Just death. Many people say Sekiro is the hardest from software game. I said before in the past, I'm not sure if I've done during this play already, but the reason for that is because it's less customizable, which you may look at to be a flaw. I, ho I however think it's one of its greatest strengths though. So like in Dark Souls, Elden Ring, you have so many different weapon types, you have different magic, so many different play styles. You can be a quick character, a slow character, a tanky character, a caster. Um, you can put your points into stats. There's many, many more RPG elements in, uh, in those games to customize your character. And because of that, you can kind of make your character strong or weak against certain enemies or certain certain bosses. But of course with Sekiro you only have the ninja crap, the katana. Which pretty much everybody in um in Elden Ring uses anyway, from what I understand, but I digress. Uh and really the only customization comes through the different ninja arts you can use. So it's less versatile than than Souls and Elden Ring. But because of that, there's less ways to kind of, uh, there's less, there's less routes around obstacles and it's more of just a raw challenge, I feel, in that aspect. You just kind of have to do it. If you're stuck on a boss in Dark Souls, there's like some item you can get, some resistance you can stack, some consumable you can use, but, um, it's not as prevalent in Sekiro, so... This is also a secret to the kite thing, right? We need to get a uh, another ninjutsu, the mind control one. This is, this is not a blind run, by the way, if you haven't figured that out yet. Yes, this guy you're supposed to mind control. And he will fly this kite for you, which you will then hook shot off of for a secret item later. But I don't have that yet, so I can't do it. As you can see, it, it comes back in. I actually figured that out by myself without looking it up on my first playthrough, and I was really proud of myself for that. Emphasis on pairing. Yeah, yeah, true. You can, like, dodge attacks. But I believe there's, like, there's either no invincibility frames or very few frames compared to Dark Souls, which means that you have to rely on parrying. And pairing can be pretty forgiving. You can, like, spam parry in some instances. In fact, there's a boss here that requires you to spam parry. But I feel like avoiding damage in general is harder in Sekiro.
Took me six in-game hours to figure out you can pick up money from the monsters. <laughs> I'm sure you're not alone in that. I think it took me a while on my first playthrough. Sekiro is one of the games where, uh, not to fillet the game all day long here, but it is one of those games where I feel like everybody has a game that they enjoy, or a movie they enjoy so much they wish that they could, like, erase their memory of it so they could experience it for the first time again. Sekiro is one of those games for me. I just, I love this game so much. You feel like a ninja when you play it, in my opinion. There's no other game that can make you feel as much of a ninja as Sekiro can. I just love the stealth aspect. I'll show you right now just how powerful it can be. Look at that crap. Those guys can actually be pretty tough. Like, these fights can take, like, minutes. And you're able to shave off so much time if you're stealthy and you're patient. Ooh, where'd these guys come from, though, actually? And you don't even need to sneak up behind them. As you can see. You can also do aerial fatalities. Ah, uh, oops. <laughs> So stealthy. And I gotta get my healing gourd out. These guys remind me of the monks from Diablo 3, actually. Even their attire is pretty similar. Ugh. Oh. You sly devil. And combining things with like the Makiri counter, you have parrying, you have dodging, it's just, oh my god. I, I love the combat in this game, it just feels so damn good. From Software, please. Sekiro 2, please. Who do I have to fillet to get Sekiro 2? I cannot wait. Okay, they're gonna patrol back down. So let's go ahead. Let's see, he has the weapon, so he's more of a threat. Ooh, actually, we can get both of them. Oh, baby. Yeah, the OST as well. The soundtrack is really, really good. That's that's shared across across all from software games, in my opinion. I especially love Dark Souls One soundtrack. My favorite being Firelink Shrine. I've used that in videos in the past, actually. Everything about this game is beautiful. You can, you guys can just tell how much of a fanboy I am of it. I'm sure. Yep, this is made by uh, From Software Mule. Or mute. I'm sorry. You can tell it has a. Uh, it has the From Software touch on it. Okay, so that's that little first area complete with not too much difficulty at all. Mostly stealth. It's the way I like to do it. Um, not to get too ahead of myself here, but when we play Elden Ring, we're going to make sort of a stealthy, katana-wielding, magic-casting hybrid type of character. That's how I like to play my Souls games. I like, I like hybrid builds. Hey, what's up, Tangies? How are you? Okay. You can't see me. You can just spam this. As long as you have the emblems, you can chain it. You see how OP that is? Well, let's get the big boy, actually. He hasn't seen me yet. Those lumps of wax are used for upgrades. The 
This thing cannot die. You can just kind of temporarily take it out. It pukes bugs at you. Oh, we got a gourd seed. Oh my god. These bugs too are annoying. I usually don't fight them. Yamagaro says, uh, Blizzard handles from software games, or ha handles from soft from the Warcraft IP for one game. What should they do? Uh, add the ability to pay $60 to skip to the credits. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be good. Because my favorite way to play Sekiro, okay, is to pay $60 to play Sekiro, and then I pay $60 to not play Sekiro. Yeah, I'm gonna skip most of the dialogue too. I hope you guys don't mind, but I've uh, I've listened to him to it so many times at this point that I'd just rather stick with the smooth combat. Oops! Screwed that one up. That's all good. And uh, another reason why I prefer Sekiro over over Souls, I'm sure I've said this before, is this little button right here. Look at that. Oh my god, how crazy. You can jump from a standing position. You can even wall jump. I I love the Souls series. Okay, I don't want to be hating. But I always hated the fact that jumping was like this monumental feat for Dark Souls. Um, and the fact that you can actually jump like this adds a whole platforming element to Sekiro. And I, I feel like Elden Ring is a perfect example of how much better the Souls series is with the ability to jump. Because you have like jumping attacks. Jumping is like a whole way to dodge moves in Elden Ring. So you not only have dodging, right, the dodge roll the parrying, but you also have jumping as well, jumping attacks. I I was um, very vocal about that for a long time before Elden Ring. I would, I would always rant and rave about how much I love Dark Souls, but how much better it could be if you could just frickin' jump. Uh-oh. Who seen me? Ooh, ooh, these guys are kinda tough. Damn it. I should've snuck up on this guy. Oh god, two of them. Oh god. Okay, clearly took the wrong route here. <laughs> We're in trouble here. This is not advisable what I'm doing right now. See, this one's lower. Ow, ow. I'm actually going to bail from here. I don't think I want to take on two of those mofos at once. Here we go. We got some items here anyway. Here. Oh god, can we not get back here? Seriously? It's run time. Let's just run. Even attacking one of these guys is a little bit rough for me. Hey guys, how's it going? Actually, we could have made an escape there if we just snuck up on him and used the blood smoke. But we'll just do this for now. Yeah, one of those guys I can handle. Not two, though. I think I want to reset him. Have you, have you tried jumping on their heads? Yep. Uh, it does a little bit of stagger damage. You can get jumping, killing blows um, on enemies you're actively fighting by doing that, if you can line it up good. I can try to show you here, maybe. Oops. Okay. Whoops! Oh, he 
you just saw me. Okay, if it's just one, I think maybe we can we can handle him. God, his, his posture meter builds up so slowly. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, never mind. Screw that guy. He's too difficult. I need to hit a uh, bonfire right now. Here we go. Okay, maybe we can do this. Get our revenge. Let's just rest. Ooh, actually, hang on, hang on. Wow, we have six skill points. You really get a lot, a lot of XP here. Did you do the boss trials? Have I completed them, Jaybird? No, I haven't actually. Uh, I think I got to the last boss in the boss trials is the furthest I got. Then I lost it. Um, yeah, you get a special outfit for completing that. I do not have that, no. Okay. Wait, did we do this? Okay, no. I think I want to acquire skills. What is the, uh... There's like a, um, a sheath attack that I really like. There's Ichimanji. This just go builds off of itself. There's like a sh an unsheathed a draw cut attack that I actually liked. I suppose we can get this one right now. I don't remember where everything is. Shadow Rush. Shinobi Eyes. Better Makiri counter. That's that's gonna be good. Ooh, actually. I would like better stealth too. Vault over is nice. Ichimanji. The Ashina draw. Let's see what this is. The Ascending Crap. This is the double Ichimanji, and I think this is the triple. Let's see... This is good to have in general. Deflection, posture damage, flowing water. Oh, this one we want, actually. Recovers posture upon death blow. These yellows are like passives that you want. Increased damage to enemies after deflection, yeah. That's good. Well, let's get the twofer right now. And we can equip the Ichimanji just so I can show you guys. Because uh, right now we have the Whirlwind Slash. Which is good. Great cloud, crowd clear right there. Ichimanji is... Uh, you've seen some of the enemies use it. It's the attack of the samurai. It's like the, the downward swing thing. And uh, you can follow that up with a triple. If you keep going down that tree. It does a lot of posture damage, I think. Is the uh, main strength of this one. Yeah, that's the... What you just saw there, that skill tree. This is... That's the, uh, the main way of customizing your character in Sekiro. It's much more restricted than Souls, but like I said... The, I don't think that's a bad thing. It's just different, right? I like, uh... I enjoy, uh... Doing different things. Oh, shit. I want to use my thing. See that posture damage? Oh, yeah. These guys as well. Okay, here, we do have the axe. You counter them, you can slice their heads off like this. You break their hats, and it staggers them. Every enemy type usually has a counter. But the best way to handle them is to sneak up on them. It's like that. We will have to return to this area once we earn the ability to dive, because there's a secret. It's 
things are always annoying to fight head on though, I'll tell you that much. Okay. We have a Game of Thrones boss coming up here. We have the mountain. I, I don't actually know if this is a uh, reference to Game of Thrones. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a coinky dink. But I will have you know, from software has referenced uh, like pop culture before. Uh, on your way to Nito, the Grave Lord in Dark Souls One, you can get invaded by a paladin named Leroy. But here we have a very very hev heavily armored knight, who upon killing, uh, he references like a, a Game of Thrones character. This is also. Tied to a side quest right here that I might show you guys, that little area. Gregor Clegane! So the trick with this guy is his posture recovers very slowly and you can't actually death blow him. You also can't see your character. Ow. It's also quite slow. Okay, we have to be careful where we stagger him too. See you later, alligator. A Dothraki horde in the open field, Ned. Gods. Oh, we just got the other breath of nature, too. Uh, yeah, the trick with that guy, you guys didn't really get to see it because I'm kind of pro at this game. Is uh you can't death blow him. Once you get to that phase, he'll just he'll just get right back up. You have to uh you have to boot him off the edge there. Bring the breastplate stretcher. They kinda sound like Alex Jones, Robert Baratheon. I don't like it putting chemicals in the water. That make the frickin' boars gay. Alright. Enhance that crap. More health. But we're just blowing through this area right now. Uh, shirtkin are the best way to handle the puppers. Okay, this, so, oh, we can get this now, actually. We can get a couple of these. These golden carps drop an item that you use for bonuses. You want to collect as many as you can. I didn't realize there were two in here. Yeah, you can earn the ability to dive later. You get the silver scale from Link. And that, that leads to an important secret later. I wonder how much actually, mentioning that, how much do you guys think that The Legend of Zelda inspired Dark Souls? More kind of referencing, um, like the order at which you, oh god, those explody things, oh shit, okay, hang on, I actually have to pay attention here. <laughs> Damn fire flowers. Oh my god. Oh, good lord. The two of these guys are rough. Here, you're almost dead. There, thank you. There we go. 
yeah, just um, you know, unlocking new areas to explore by completing other areas, different, getting different tools and key items and whatnot. Lots of these things, huh? Yeah, these are the guys. You want to take these guys out first, ideally. Or else they will cause you problems. God, I love that so much. I love the, uh, I forgot what this is called, but you throw the, throw a shuriken and you chase that up with a slice. Or you follow that up with a slice. It's a great gap closer. Okay, I think we need to get high in game, right? Here we go. Hang on, hang on. Oh, that's right. Okay, we have to time this. I'm going to try to not abuse firecrackers too much in this playthrough. They're kind of OP. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. These things are so annoying to fight head up. Okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. Oh, there's another one already. Hit him with the axe. Ooh, it's a ranged boy. It's a slippery one. Yeah, I hate the little guys. Those little munchkins give me so much problems. Except those ones. Those are the ranged ones. They're not too bad. Okay, we have to... I'm just gonna rush it and try to get this item here. Because this thing is actually pretty badass. Okay. You can't kill that yet, and those things are really annoying, so I'm gonna forget about them for now. Alright, we got a boss here. Optional boss. I want to work on first. These guys actually, uh... They teach you an important skill set in the game, and that's to mash parry. These bosses actually require you to mash parry. Oh god, hang on. For god, he's not alone. This guy, uh, damn it! What's on me? Oh, you son of a bitch. These things, too, you can just death blow if you jump, right? I'm fairly certain. Here, I'll show you. Yep. That's the best way to handle these guys. Okay, there's the boss. Okay, I want to get a death blow on him for sure. Yeah, stand right there. Okay. So it's just one. Let's take out all these little guys first. Hold still. Oh, you son of a bitch. There we go. Got him. Got a Mario on. Oh, he sweeps. Okay, okay. Ah. It's okay. Don't worry, we have the power of Kudo at our side. Haha! -ha. Ready for it that time. Got him. I actually died to this guy for like an hour straight until I realized you're just supposed to uh, mash parry against him. My first time in this game. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky for me. Get out of here. There's another one of those guys later on too. Soul Series influenced by Berserk. Yeah, true. Actually, um, 
there there's a couple of references to berserk there's a sword you can get guts's sword in uh i think a few of the souls games and also elden ring and also in elden ring you have the sword graveyards spread throughout the game that's also a reference to berserk Oh shit, I did not even see this. Thing. We got doggos here, right? I'll show you how to death block doggos if you just time a parry. You should be good to go. I'll, s I'll keep one up so I can show you. Ah, damn it. Never mind. I thought this one was another dog. Never mind, I killed them all. Whoa, whoa. Leg. Did you guys see that? What the hell was that about? That was not just on your end. It also happened to me. Can we just sneak, like, above these guys, maybe? Get out of here, Diablo Monk. Yeah, if you guys are looking for uh, somebody to get bodied in Sekiro, I'd just like to let you know you're in the wrong place. <laughs> no, I kid. There there will be bosses who will decimate me. Ishin will destroy me, as a matter of fact. And I might embarrass myself on the monkey fight here coming up. Because I'm kind of stupid. There's a pretty unique boss fight coming up that I'm sure you can complete in like a few seconds, but I don't know, sometimes it gives me problems. Hey, how did you see me? I'm I'm hidden. Oh, that's some bullcrap. Ow. Dick. Oh, there's two of them. Here, hey, let's, uh, I think we're near a bonfire. We should pro- or bonfire. A spirit emblem statue should probably focus on that first. Oh, he's still throwing crap at me. This guy was waiting for me. He had an anti-air already. Why doesn't he get hurt by the, the fire flowers? That's some bullcrap. There. Okay. Can we sneak by this guy, I wonder? Ooh, I bet you you can. Let's see if maybe we can get... Oh, God. Oh, how did he see me? Are you kidding me? Oh, God. Oh, God, they all see me. Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, three of those guys is going to be, like, impossible. I wonder if they're going to chase me all the way over here. Okay, new plan. Whoop, 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 whoop. Run past. I don't like those guys. They're very tough. I think we want to go here. I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Okay. Rest. Yeah, I love Senpu Temple. Me too. Um, actually, we're getting a very important item here in a second. I just realized. And it allows us to kill a lot of these enemies. And it also gives you a super OP attack that you can, like, spam. I'll show you how broken that is, too. Let's go here first. I think this is another uh, ability upgrade thing. Oh no. Ugh. It's 
stop blocking me. This guy's the block master. Uh, hang on, hang on. Target, please. Thank you. Let's take his little buddies out first. You have to attack sometime. Okay. <laughs> I think he forgot to plug his controller in. This guy's like glitched or something. That was weird. Why wasn't he like attacking me? That's strange. That's never happened before. Yeah, Ichimanji is pretty cool. It'll be even cooler if we get, um... Oh, no, damn it. I think we went the wrong way. We just backtracked, I think. It'll be even cool, cooler once we get the, the follow-ups. Yeah, we just, we gotta, hang on, we'll teleport back. It's all good. But I think we went the wrong way, maybe? Or maybe not, actually, because I think this leads back up. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, I thought... Ooh, maybe I'm mistaken. I thought there was like a, uh... Like a path up or something, wasn't there? Hang on, let me, uh, acclimate myself. So the gold is up there, that pagoda. Or whatever you call that. I thought to get there... Maybe I just need to keep going. Maybe I back... I backtracked too early. So you can go there, that's the no fall damage way. I think we can turn this way and go under, maybe. And this, I wonder if this leads back to the jailer guy. What's harder, this or Dark Souls 3? I haven't actually beaten Dark Souls 3 yet, so I can't say for sure. I played through, I feel, what I ascertained to be most of Dark Souls 3, and I think Sekiro is, is harder, personally. Uh, some of you guys might disagree with me on that, and that's fine, but I guess personally I had a harder time with Sekiro. Yeah, here we go. Okay, good. So this gives us the... You can actually learn the... Um, the move sets of the enemies you're fighting here, and this is the monk one. The Senpu Esoteric te Texts. I wasn't really too much of a fan of this, but you can use like unarmed crap on enemies. And do like the big, uh. the big combos that they deal to you. Okay, nothing back here. Alright, let's hitch a ride back. I haven't played Dark Souls 3 myself. Eventually, I don't I don't know what day it's gonna be, but we will have Dark Souls 3 in our future. I wanna play through all the From Software games for you guys. Hey, what's up, Johaman? And frankly as well, how are you? I'm doing great. We're just enjoying a little seki seki right now. Okay, how are we doing on XP here? Oops. Four. Um, so here's the temple arts. The praying strikes, that's right. You go all the way down here and you get like the full monk combo. Ashina Cross, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. I like. I really like this one. Let's go for that. So the double Ichimanji, I think we have to equip it. I'll show you guys this. Yeah. So you can do a, an uh, then, then uh. The dubs. I thought there was a triple, but I guess I'm mistaken. All right, there's an item up here, right? 
Yeah, I like I really like the cross. I think I used that in my last playthrough, in fact. Okay. Oi. Oh wait, are we not supposed to be here yet? Oh no. I think I'm i I've done this out of order. Yeah, there's supposed to be a bell here. Oi. I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm not even supposed to be working today. You'll, uh, you'll forgive me here. The last time I played this was like a month ago, I feel, at this point. We killed, we just killed Genichiro. So I've kind of lost track of what the hell I was doing. Um. Maybe I just didn't do a dialogue. Let's go to the castle. And we go to, no, no, not Hirata State, Castle, Castle Tower Lookout. So we killed Genichiro, then now we're, we're starting the path of severance. Let's see what these guys have to say. Oh. Okay, Emma. Oh wait, no, I have uh, I have a gourd seed for you. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I just didn't do this. I didn't do this dialogue. Yeah. Okay. So we, we need to sever the immortal curse. We need a few uh, reagents for that. Sorry about skipping the dialogue here, but I, I just don't really want to read through it again. I'll leave the story to you guys. Hopefully um, the gameplay of this game will intrigue you guys to play it yourselves and you can you can do it spoiler free. But yeah, I've just, I played this game so many times, I already know what's going on. Okay, yeah, he's gonna, he takes you to the window that I already opened. Okay, I gotcha. Wait, did we get this? Whoops, we didn't even get this. Oh, Tangies, thank you for the prime. Sorry, I missed that. Appreciate it. Let's go to Ishin. He'll he'll tell us about Senpu Temple and stuff, so Oh, actually I think I need to talk to Kuro again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fluent in Japanese? I know some words. Soka means is that so, I believe, or or I understand? It's like an acknowledgement. Nani? Is what? Bakana! Is impossible. I know all of this from anime. <laughs> Baka is idiot, I believe. Yeah, 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 Kuro. We already know this stuff. Okay. He's, he's literally just a stone's throw away right here. I'm a bit of a weeb, I guess you could say. Uh, can you call your guys off from, like, killing me? Oh, is that so? Oh, yes. So we have to get a, not only do we need the reagents, we need something called the Mortal Blade. That's what we get from Senpu Temple. And basically we're at a, we're at a crossroads. We've been tasked to protect Kuro with our life, the Iron Code, but to, uh, to stop the immortality, I guess, so to speak, we have to kill Kuro with the Immortal Blade. Okay, so now we can... 
I'm going to go ahead and turn in my gourd seed first. And then we'll just head to the idol we've already gone to in Senpu. And then we can embarrass ourselves on a boss. Wait, Emma, where are you? I guess she's at the castle now. This guy's like, stop dying. Let's see if we got any upgrades. Um, oh gosh, I don't even know what I want. So this gives you uh, super armor, right? Flame vent. I would like this. I like to upgrade the uh, the firecrackers because I'm cheap. Let's do this though. The mist raven. Oh, the phantom kunai is nice. We have to defeat Lady Butterfly, which I actually don't know if we've done. Wait, I, we have not killed Lady... Okay, we need to do that first. Hang on. I believe we haven't killed Lady Butterfly. Wait, does that mean that Lady Butterfly is, like, optional? Hang on. I told you, this is the problem of playing these games. Uh, <laughs> and, um... Taking a break. I'm actually going to buy a prayer bead real quick. I forget what we get from Lady Butterfly because she's in the past, right? So, story wise. Goku. Here, let's sell. Was it 1400? So. Here. Prayer bead. We'll save up 5k for that Dragon she Master. All right, let's kill Butterf Lady Butterfly. Or get killed by her. A good ninja tool to have for her is the anti-air shuriken. Which we have, right? Yes. No, I definitely have not killed Lady Butterfly. Wow, that's funny. I won't skip the cutscene. I think there is a cutscene here, maybe. Yeah. So this is in the past right now. I love finishing every fight in this game, says Frostwolf. Yeah, me too. As many bosses as I can, usually. I'll, we'll try to do it for this playthrough, if I can remember them all. Miku-sama. And like all Japanese media, the ancient elderly are like the most powerful people. <laughs> Somehow. Somehow. <laughs> Clapping your hands cures hypnosis. Yeah, it's just like in Naruto, right? Genjutsu. I don't know how to dance. I don't want to dance. All right. Aggression is the name of the game with Butterfly, if I remember correctly. Let's see if I can remember this. Oh, she blocked it, you son of a... Yeah, she's already getting her posture back. Damn it. She's blocking my loaded shuriken. You just want to be really aggressive with her. <laughs> ah. Bad. 
Get that posture meter up, baby. Except now I gotta heal. Damn it! <laughs> it's all good. Download complete, okay? That's all I need. I just needed to download her. I may have AOL dial up, but download complete, alright? Ooh, we got the unseen aid too. Nice. We saved our zero experience points. There we go. Just gotta get in that rhythm. You're not getting away. Ah, oh, you shot me. You shot me right in the arm. Damn it. I almost had her. I almost had phase one completes. Damn it. This might get some getting used to here. She's doing a really good job blocking my damn shurikens. There we go. Alright. This is the run. I think also it would be a good idea. Uh, well. We need, um. What's it called? A snap seed. Oh, we have one snap seed. This dispels illusions, which she'll be using here. <laughs> So usually what I do, I just kind of run away for this phase. Until she does the thing. There she goes. <laughs> Oof, okay. Alright, let's go. Oh. Ah. Oh. Pillars can be very useful. There we go. Finally. Dodge that stupid sweep. Boom, baby. Can anybody say second try? I told you, download complete. Nice. Whew. That was out of healing gourds too, so that was it. Nice. So yeah, I guess she is... Uh... Wait, what? Combat music?
I guess she is optional after all. Interesting. I did not know that. Oh dear. Uh, uh, the other fight that occurs in this room, I will say, however... OP Owl? That's a tough one for me, okay? That, that won't be second try. Well, we probably won't go for that ending. But OP Owl is freaking OP, and that, yeah, it takes me a long time, usually. <laughs> OP Owl uses Game Shark. He cheats, okay? Hey, what's up, the, Car the Caribia? Yeah, we're big from software fan. I love me my from soft games. You suck, Wolf. Look at you dying all the time. That's one strong kid. Is he lifting like a 200 pound beam of wood above his head? Good lord. It's burning too? I suppose he is like immortal. Or he has the blood. That leads to immortality. Okay. Uh, can we afford this? No, we can't. Can we do... Uh, oh, we can... We haven't done this yet? I actually like the Sabi Maru as well. Because it deals a lot of posture. I think I want to switch out the axe for this. You can also make it poison. That is a cool item. Okay. Alright, so that's that. Oh, this guy, yeah, he also sells items now too. Oh, that's a good one. Do you sell... Oh, he sells a gourd seed, too. Oh, my God. Actually, somebody said earlier that you can use a balloon of spirit and then the coin purses. I did not know that this was possible. So this should normally gives 2,000, I think. No, well, 500 each. Uh, maybe I misunderstood. What about these? Or maybe like he meant he like more of those drop or something. Oh my god, we're so okay. We can sell something certainly, right? We need sixty. I think we get a lot of dragon's blood droplets throughout the game, so let's just yeah, gourd seed. Okay, so now we have. Two of these bad boys to turn into Emma. Who I believe should be at the castle now. So hopefully we get a DLC for Sekiro. <laughs> I think we're going to get a DLC for Sekiro after Bloodborne comes to PC. Is my guess. Alright Emma, where are you? Stop teleporting. Shut up, just take my gourd seed. Take my seed, Emma. Here. There we go. Seven shots now. I'm just gonna speed through this dialogue too. Show the Sakura droplet. I forgot what this is. Ah, I forgot what Sakura droplet. I'll keep it for now. That might start a different, uh, a different ending. It's been quite a while since I played this, so. Go to the Sunken Valley, yeah. 
Oh, the Sakura's extra resurrection, really? Okay, well, let's do that then. This will give me another, uh, another thingy, huh? We might go for this, the, the big ending that requires a lot of secrets and stuff. I'm going to see if I can remember how to do it myself without looking it up. We have to chase down some snakes. If I remember correctly. We got to get uh, some snake hearts. Yeah. Extra res. Thank you. Uh, who is that? Blue, fi Blue food die. Thank you. Okay, so let's just go back to Senpu. Let's embarrass ourselves on the folding monkeys. Okay, here we go. Interesting boss here. You guys get to see how stupid I am. <laughs> oh no. I shouldn't be streaming this. Watch me just beast this though. Come on, well, well, this will be speed run. Speed run boss. See how I remember how to do this. So I know the first one. The folding screen monkeys. They're monkeys each with uh, special abilities. One has great hearing. Another one has great sight. Uh, another one is invisible. I forget what the other one does. But one of them actually starts right behind you. You see there? Those little those folding screens. They give you a little hint. Oh, one of them alerts others. So he, the purple is he can see. Red, he alerts other monkeys if you see him. So you, have to, you want to kill him like in a good order. And the green one is they, uh, they can hear well. And one of the panels is empty because the last one is invisible. That's his special power. There's the sight one, of course. Stupid monkeys. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. There's one. You just have to kill all of them. The, the normal way to kill that guy is you drag him through paint and you can see his footsteps. But because we uh, played this game before, we have a little bit of an advantage. So, I think I first want to head over here. Hey, what up, Slayer? How are you? Yeah, I did it without looking it up as well. I believe I was in here for like an hour or two hours though on my first play though. It was pretty bad. So this will, uh... This will burn out the fire. So... You can't see much if there's no light. Um, let's see what we can do here. Oh, he saw me. Oh, he's right there! No, don't get that one! Where? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Shit, I lost him. Damn it, that was actually a good opportunity. Oh, maybe, actually, maybe he went inside, uh... Maybe we actually routed him. I guess we should maybe kill these first. Oh, he's right there. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, we got the alerter. Just like that. Very nice. Damn it. You stupid monkeys. Thank you. Okay. Um, I want to check. Well, are there gonna be? There's one right there. There's the green one. Oh my God, we got this guy too. This is gonna be a speed run. So let's see if the last one is in his position.
Oh my god. Can you say, uh, speedrun? Can you say, uh, professional Sekiro player? Look at that crap. <laughs> this is how it always goes for me. I usually just kind of go in here and, and defeat it in one minute. You know, because I'm a god gamer. Professional gamer you're looking at here. Whatever. Oh, screw those monkeys. They've traumatized me in the past. The green one, you have to ring the bell. I believe you have to, like, deafen him. Something like that. You, uh, you ring the bell to deafen him, and you can sneak up on him, as long as you're not in his vision, of course. But normally, he will just hear you from very far away. We just sort of ran up to him. We don't need that crap. Yeah, maybe we beat Sekiro tonight, huh? Ooh, we got this too now. Okay. Good. Uh, I wonder if we need to head back to Senpu then? Maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure. Are you a fan of gimmick fights in FromSoft games, as Silva? I don't know, I guess I have kind of a neutral opinion on them. I don't, I don't love them or hate them. I would like some rice, please. Yes. Oh yeah, this is where we get the mortal blade. Look at this crap. Katana. All weebs rise up right now. So this is the mortal blade. You can get a little bit cheesy with this item. This gives you a new ability. <laughs> you can kind of just spam it because it goes through all blocking. Oh. It's just fake die. Don't worry, I had a bundled Jesus statue. <gasps> By the power of anime, I live again. I just had a soul stone, it's all good. <laughs> he committed Sudoku. Alright, the mortal blade. So now Mortal Draw, this is this is it. I'll show you guys in a moment. Oh. Sever the ties of immortality. Yes, there's a dragon painted right on the blade. She gives you rice, which is a healing item. I love rice. Rice is really good when you're hungry and you, you feel like you could eat a thousand of something. You can only have one rice though. It's unique. Unique one. Okay. So that's that. Uh, next we have uh, the depths, which I believe... Oh, actually, hang on. We have to enhance our attack power a couple times. The next, next stop is the depths. Um... Which is where? I believe I have... Here we go, Great Serpent Shrine. This will be a long way to go.
You can also give the soccer droplet to her as well. Ah, I see. Oh, hey, it's, uh, what's his name? Tengu or something? Oh, Sekiro ka. Kore wa. No, not yet. So I, I believe you need to master the thing he gave you and he gives you another one or something? Which one was he? Let's see. He's Ashina Arts. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm close. I believe if I get Ascending Crap and then Ashina Cross, he'll give me like another one or something. Okay, next area of the game. Um, but guys, I think we'll have to save this until next stream. I have a video to edit. Getting, wow, it actually is kind of late already. I wanted to get some editing in tonight before bed bed. Um, so I think I'm actually going to call it right here. Thanks for watching me play video games. We will finish Sekiro soon. The goal is to finish Sekiro before Dragon's Dogma, which uh, arrives in 11 days. So I should very, very much easily be able to do that as long as I'm streaming semi-consistently. <laughs> We're probably at this point, I don't know, about a third, halfway through the game. Um... We got some tough bosses coming up. We got some easy bosses coming up. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, conclude this pretty soon here. And uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 will be our next variety game. But yeah, thank you for watching me play video games for the WoW stuff, for the Sekiro stuff. I appreciate you. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow in the afternoon, most likely. And if not, then I'll see you hopefully soon. But yeah. Thanks, guys. You have a good night or day, whatever it is, wherever you may be. I'll see you in the next one.